Yo, what is up, friends, foes, and members of the Omni Council? My name is Damien Camille, and I am the Omni King, and welcome to some Scarlet Nexus once again. I forget where we actually left off completely. Um, I will say, um, I think I've talked about this before a little bit. I still am a bit antsy as to whether I want to play through the game again as Kasane. Um, because there is a new game plus element, and it would allow me guaranteed to carry over equipment and items. Which would give me all late game items and stuff, like late game weapons. But, I... Supposedly, if you pick the other character, it does not carry over levels. So, like, whatever levels my guy are as Yuito, it doesn't carry over as Kasane. And... That, like, I don't understand why. <laughs> like, um, I'm still trying to figure that out. But I already know what games I'm going to play next. Um, when Final Fantasy finishes, I will be playing um, Golden Sun. Golden Sun's 1, 2, and maybe 3. Um, I love the Golden Sun franchise, so... Um, I will absolutely be playing that. Um, I have 1 and 2 on uh, the Wii U, so I get to actually play with console again. Um, when this completes, um, if I don't want to bother with Kasane's playthrough... Like, I might come back to Kasane's playthrough. I don't know, like... From what I understand, this for most of the game, the story is different enough that it's worth playing, but I just, I don't know. I don't know, like, if I'm interested enough with staying with the game for this long right away, right? I may just, um, I may just, you know, play, uh, play something else, but, um, there's another strategy game. So I wanted to play some form of, tact like, a sort of tactical game just because I'm not too familiar with them. And, um, I wanted to give one a shot, so I was looking up which ones to try. Where is it? I already own it. I know I already own it. I think I own it on Epic, too. Let's look through. My Epic library's smaller. And, uh, the thumbnails for the, uh, games are bigger, too. I got it for free on Epic after I'd already bought it on Steam. God, how long do I have to scroll? Oh, Superland is another game I want to play at some point. Oh, here it is. The Dungeon of Nehalubulk, the Amulet of Chaos. That is the game I, I'm going to play next. Supposedly, it's pretty fun, has some challenge, and the writing in it is really good. Um, I, I know I've played a teeny, teeny bit of it. Um, like, I played, like, a first few the first few fights in the game um, before I started streaming, but I think I'm going to give that game a shot. I was thinking of maybe XCOM or something, but I decided against it. If I owned a Switch, I may consider doing, like, Mario Rabbids, but... I don't own a Switch, so I can't do that. But, yeah, so let's, uh, we're gonna switch over to, uh, the game now. But that's, yeah, that's my plans going forward. I still have full intentions of playing through the Neptunia franchise at some point soon. Um, but there are a lot of games. Like, it's almost like Yee's category of games within the, Nep within the Neptunia franchise. So, um... You know, so I also have had like the problem with the Neptunia franchise. I've only played the first three games, but the problem is a 
multiple endings, which can be a bit annoying to prep save files for. Um, and two, um, the com like, so the thing, it's not that the combat's problematic, it has its problems, but the thing is the game never tells you, um, what the, the game never tells you what level you need to be to, like, in a lot of places, when you go, like, with, especially where the world map, they'll tell you, like, oh, this area's level range this. Well, Neptunia doesn't tell you that. So, if, like, but the problem is, to me as well, like, at least for when I played it, the side quests weren't enough to theoretically keep you leveled, so I kept getting my teeth kicked in. I actually never played the Neptunia games without cheating in them. Because I just like the dialogue. I basically just put invincibility on for the entirety of the game. Because I'd go up to a boss, the boss would do one attack and wipe out half my party. Right? And then and then I'm officially for the rest of the fight stuck in a healing loop until the boss KOs all of us. So But I'm I'd be interested in learning how to play the game. Cause like I struggled with it for the first one until I started cheating. The second one I tried a second time. You know, and the third time I just, I didn't even give it a shot. I just started cheating right off the bat. So I would like to learn, you know, to actually play the game appropriately. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's get into this. I forget what chapter we're in. Phase 10. So I know there's, um, I know there's, uh, 12 phases. So may maybe we can beat, beat it today. I wouldn't mind beating it today. Yep, let's go. I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you all right? I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? Like a Should knot in the red threads, I believe, I'm going to say. The red okay. strings. Then we'll go to the Kunod Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? No. He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time in the present? I like how the wing is blocking her face. And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are. Uh, Mom? You're just like your father. Huh? No. Kaito is the one who looks like dad. Actually, people tell me I'm not much like him. I'm not talking about your face. It's how you act. Yuito, about your father. I'm sorry I didn't tell you what he was doing. He did awful things, but it was him that saved me from Togetsu. He was kind. Kaito said he would change this country, too. He's wanted to be a politician ever since he was little. But I guess he could only take your father's path as well. Kaito did. But I... It's all right. <laughs> you and Kaito are your fathers and my children. I know you'll make up someday. Right. There we go, phase 11.
Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kuna Gate. You said something about entanglements? Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunod Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunod Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunod Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunod Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say enter the Kunod Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunod Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunod Gate. Mm. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red Strings power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps would have been kind of so much cooler to call it the Scarlet point. Nexus, and then you would have, like, boom, boom, boom. Roll credits. <laughs> so only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020, when the gate was made, and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt. Basically, if someone with the Red Strings power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. <laughs> Forgot about Gemma's mask. <laughs> We won't know how to unravel them until we see uh, them. Iniko and the uh, terminal is conceptualized by your powers. Oh, I forget her so name already. Uh, both of them with the cat ears still look cute, though. Intuition. That was a smart decision also, on my part. But I can use the red strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the red strings again and enter the Kronos terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. Sugumi, that's it. We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. <laughs> Is that his wing? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you again after all these years, but we haven't really talked. I get that the situation won't allow it, but... Yes. Good to go, Kasane? I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. I'm still curious as to what's happened with Karin. He's almost kind of just been left out of the story, so I feel like he's just going to be some form of like surprise in the end. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. Is she guiding us? Let's go. 
inside the Kronos terminal. Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. Your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affected. The memories of your past made others appear. So basically, you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> that makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. Oh, I have access to all my sass. Is this other an illusion? This sure looks real. As long as your brain thinks so, it's the same as it was. We have to fight it. Good. Need the rest to me. Oh my god, they don't go away. Hey, hyperspeed. Open up the Steam menu. Hey, do you feel something? Yeah, it's like my head is buzzing. It's weird. <laughs> this is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, then I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes. I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. Oh, I see an enemy I don't like. I'm using this RC. Oh, go to hell. All right. I know we can do it. Right, Yui Yeah, right. What? Now die! Let's do this, Kagero! Yeah! Come on! Let's go! Wave neck next wave. This should work. Unraveling. It should work. Very 
This will make the Kunad Gate disappear. Hey, Kasane. That day, I never got the chance to thank you properly. So, thank you for saving me. What? That came out of nowhere. You were the one that saved me 11 years ago at the hospital, right? I remember it perfectly now. I used to be a dud, and then all of a sudden I had powers. My power awakening? I think it was because you shared yours with me. What? Powers aren't something you can just share. Yeah, I know what I'm saying sounds silly, but if it were possible, it was thanks to meeting you that day that I'm still alive and have reached my goal of getting into the OSF. That's what I think, so... Thanks. And the cutscene kind of supports that. Where after she saved him, he his head glowed. <laughs> you look totally confused, but that's okay. I think it's unraveled now. Everyone is probably worried about us. Mother's power. I can still feel it. So, there's more than one entanglement? If so, it's simple. We just have to unravel all of them. Right. Okay, let's go. At least we know that there's, like, not many people that can interfere because... Um, still feels off. So you feel it too. Something's bothering me. Because uh, the only people that should have red string power are you, Kasane, Wakana, because it's specifically stated that very few people have this power. And then the other would technically be Karin, because he stole stole access to it from Kasane, but I guess he needed Yuito as well to be able to um have better control or something or maybe he realized that their powers were similar because she shared his power with her can i target this guy please Stop following me! Brain drive again. I, I got a question. Why does the why does my bitrate drop to zero specifically mostly only when I'm in story moments? Because it really pisses me off. I'd rather miss gameplay than miss actual cutscene relevant information that it for some reason if someone, you know, two years from now wants to come back and watch this playthrough, they're not missing out on chunks of cutscenes. I don't even understand why the bitrate happens. We pay a lot of money for good internet. And again, I'm the only one in the house that even has this problem. My friend can stream Netflix, whatever, for as long as he wants and has no issue. But the moment I try to accomplish it, heaven fucking forbid I can stream consistently. And again, I have the only device connected manually. I should have the best connection in the house. Unless it's a cord thing. But if it's a cord thing, it would be a consistent problem. Like, regular problem. <sighs> Anyways, I used photo mode to, to stop the uh, cutscene from playing when I realized that uh, the internet dropped.
So you missed a little bit of the cutscene. He asked. She asked him if he ever considered using the red strings power on his own, like after the Kunod Gate closes. If he could use the the powers freely, would he? Something would have changed. All those regrets are still there. When Nagi asked, what should I have done differently? I just couldn't come up with an answer. So, do you want to use the red strings to change the past? Mm. No, I don't. Because even if you change the past, you won't know how it will affect the future. Nagi might not have gotten caught up in all of this if he wasn't my friend. If he hadn't joined the OSF, if he didn't admire them, if I mess with the past that much and just overwrite his life, is that really saving him? And it's not just Nagi. If you change the past, it would affect the lives of everyone in the world. It's not something that one person can burden themselves with. I don't think it's right to only care about what you wish. There's a lot that I still can't accept, but it's not something that I can just ignore as if it didn't happen. I know it was a silly question. I'm actually surprised, or maybe I'm just relieved, because now I know I'm not the only one having these thoughts. Oh. Before, I would have answered differently, but now that I've met everyone, the way I see the world has changed. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's the same for me. You know, we actually have a lot in common. I think it's a little early to say that. This is Mom's... There's still an entanglement? But all the time periods we traveled to... No, now's not the time to think about it. Can you keep going? I'll be okay. I'm probably just a little tired from using my brain too much. We should hurry. You only traveled to those two times, right? Yes, I think those are the only ones. Burn. The Sumeragi Crest. Oh no. That's it. This is the image I saw at the start. Right. Yakumo Sumeragi's Crest. It seems like a time entanglement appeared then. What? How? Former Major General Karin. Going to keep coming. We need to unravel the entanglement. No, 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 I want to do this. They're so close together, I can't do anything. And the problem is, is the thing is causing me to lock onto the center one. Do 
There we go. He's dead. And then I, I'm going to use Kasane. Oh, no. To uh, take out this guy here. Brain field. Screw you. I feel better now. I'm counting on you. Die. God, I hate those enemies. Did they just completely forget about Carmen? <laughs> Alright, cutscene time. Okay, that should. <sighs> Yuito? This is bad. I don't think I can take much more either. So, did we do it? That should be all of them, right? Probably, but something doesn't feel right. Karin and Yakumo Sumeragi. What happened to them? <sighs> Damn it. I'm blacking. Yuito, Kasane. <sighs> Mom? Mother. You're getting pulled into that time period. Oh no, never mind. Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. It seems like we made it back. What's going on? The Kunad Gate. Why hasn't it disappeared? Well. Good job, you two. It's all okay now. What? But Mother, we unraveled the entanglements. So why? <sighs> Leave the rest to me. W what? Thank you for growing up so strong. You've made a lot of wonderful friends. Those connections are much more valuable than any red string. Treasure them for the rest of your life. M Mother? Mom, you can't go back to the past. If you go back, Toketsu will. It has to be done. Forgive me. The longer I remain here, the more painful it will be. <sighs> no, hold on! There's still so much that I need to say! Mother! <laughs> Yuito! Kasane! Live on! Knowing you're happy is all that I could ask for!
So today is the day. give you my brain, but you can't have my memories of the future. Kaito. Yurito. Kasane. Oh, did she do it so Togetsu couldn't have access to her her memories? The body has been confirmed as the target for Kana. Current theory for cause of death is cerebral overload due to a malfunction in the personality rehabilitation device. We believe an irreversible memory wipe was conducted. There is significant damage to the memory regions in her brain, following protocol and retrieving her brain. Yep, so she killed herself so Togetsu couldn't get her memories. I see. There was an entanglement from when Mom time-traveled. Mother. She explained it to us earlier when the two of you were gone. The Kunad Gate wouldn't disappear as long as she was still present in this time. We have a message she left for the two of you. Let me send it to you now. Be a brain message. Where is the brain? I'm sorry we have to part like this. I should have told you I was trying to do, but I didn't trust myself to be calm talking to you. Let's summarize what I told your friends. I'm going back to my time now. No. I should say that I went back. There are three reasons. One, to protect the history of Wakana Sumeragi dying in 2009. Two, to ensure the history where I received... The I received the Red Strings data sent by Togetsu. Togetsu sent the data to me because they salvaged my brain and connected it to Babe. So my brain has to be collected by Togetsu in 2009. To erase the entanglement I created. If someone at the Red Strings power who is from a different time than you to pass through the Kunad Gate, an entanglement is created. As long as I try to pass through the Kronos Terminal, the entanglements can't be eliminated. But my death eliminates the power and cause, so the entanglements can be erased. That means I have to carry out my life in my original time. I, plan, I had this plan ever since I received the Red Strings data. To eliminate the Kuna Gate, what happens in the world after that is left up to you living in 2020. Please work with your friends to make a better make a better future. P.S. I know I must have hurt you both. I was happy that I was able to see my precious children grow up and grow up and strong. Thank you for being born and living, for giving me happiness. I pray that you will see so much happiness than what you gave me. Yui Tokusan, I will always love you. Wakana Sumeragi. from the start that she was causing an entanglement. She held back her feelings so she could part with you with no regrets. She's a great person. I'm sorry. I know this hits the two of you harder than anyone else and I'm here crying. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing to say. Apparently, the entanglement will unravel when Wakana returns to the past and dies like she did in history. 
I know she would have wanted to talk to the both of you some more, but she thought spending more time with you would only make things more painful. Hey, um, don't be so down. I'm not saying that because I'm worried about... <laughs> Wakana wasn't from this time period, so her... The uneasy feeling I had when we unraveled the entanglements a little. That's strange. Wakana has returned, so how come it didn't disappear? Have all the entanglements truly been unraveled? All the entanglements we felt we unraveled. The ones 11 years ago, 50 years in the future, and the one during Yakumo Sumeragi's time period. What? What does Yakumo Sumeragi's time period have to do with anything? I think one formed when we witnessed Yakumo's assassination. What are you talking about? Yakumo was severely injured in an accident, but he wasn't assassinated. We don't really understand it either, but we saw Yakumo Sumeragi being killed by Karin. What did you say? We were busy dealing with the entanglement, but yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that that was former Major General Karin. He copied Kasane's power. Yuito, if he also copied your power. But he didn't copy my... He could have time-traveled by resonating Kasane's power with mine. So it hasn't disappeared because of the entanglement Karin created when he traveled back to Yakumo's time period? But the two of you couldn't find an entanglement. How do you expect to unravel something you can't find? Karin can unravel his own entanglement. Yes, exactly. The only thing we can do is take Karin to the Kronos Terminal and have him unravel the entanglement himself. God, I fucking hate everything. Why isn't it happening now? During major story plot points. So, based on the image it froze on, I can briefly explain. Gamma asked Watru to find Karen's location. He couldn't find anything. So they presumed he's in the past. Um, they confirmed with Yuito and Kasane that it was, insure it was Karen and Yakumo they saw in the memory... Or in the image of the past, and they consume. They confirmed that they indeed saw Karin's face, but they were sh well. They didn't see Yakumo's face. They did see the mask depiction, which caused Kagero to have a revelation, and now everyone's staring at him, begging him for an explanation. Calm down. So you know how Yakumo started wearing the mask because of the injuries he sustained. Rumor was, sometime after the accident, he suddenly stopped appearing in front of people and his whole personality just changed. Whole personality changed? You're not suggesting... Karin, Yakumo the is now Karin. Yakumo was assassinated by Karin from the future, and Karin took his place by putting on the mask? It doesn't matter. Either way, we still need to travel back to 2,000 years ago to check. Actually... No. We might not have to travel at all. You all saw my brother's video, right? Don't you remember what he said? Yakumo Sumeragi is alive. What are you... He is asleep. Deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge. Right. Cold sleep. Just like Kagero. If Yakumo is in cold sleep under Suo, then we can find out the truth by meeting him directly. If former Major General Karin replaced him, then he'll be the one down there in cold sleep. I'm not entirely certain as to why he did what he did, but we can talk to him and have him help us unravel the entanglement. Or kill him and have it unwrangle itself. Where he's sleeping, though? I mean, Arahabaki is the only area I can think of that's under Suo. I mean, Sumeragi Tomb is the first place I thought of where Yakumo would be. Do you think he would really be in such a heavily trafficked place, though? How about it, Yuito? It's your family's tomb. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've never even been inside the building before. 
The head of the family is responsible for watching over Sumeragi tomb. I might be able to find something out if I talk to my brother. Chief, do you think he'll listen to us? Actually, I've been trying to reach my brother's terminal, but I'm not getting through. There's a chance he might have blocked me. Wataru, can you ask Major General Fubuki to talk to my brother? I doubt he'd refuse a call from a Major General. Okay, leave it to me. I just don't know how soon I'll get a response. Wanna stop by our hideout then? I'm sure Yuito and Kasane could use the rest. So I'm assuming this was phase 11 and we're moving on to phase 12. Thanks, Gemma. Alright, let's head back. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Welcome back. I messaged Major General Fubuki. He said it might take some time to get in touch with the Chief. Thanks, Wataru. I also asked about Major General Karin, but apparently Major General Fubuki doesn't know anything either. I see. Then I guess he really is in the past. We don't have any other leads at the moment, so let's hope he's in Sumeragi tomb. Yep. I'm just wondering how this is going to come about with the end of... Like, if we stop Karin, like what's going to happen with uh, Togetsu? Yeah, Kagero has a link. The relationship thing. Luka does. Shiden does. Gemma does. Arashi doesn't. Good. Who, who's at rank 6 already within the party? Oh, Rashi's already at rank 6, so of course she's not. Unless it's a cutscene thing. I think it's literally everyone that isn't rank 6 has one. Yep. Yeah. Let's do her ex. I didn't know Sumeragi Tomb had a basement. I've been there to sightsee before, but this is the first time I'm hearing about that. Oh, there's a Team Bond episode. Let's go! Let's do the Bond episode first. Perfect timing. Could you come and help me in the kitchen? Okay. What's the matter? <laughs> what is this? I can't really see with the sensor in place. <laughs> what a creative usage of actual, <laughs> actual <laughs> concepts. All the hard work they've been putting in. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> this is beyond not very good. I wanted to get your advice because I know you're a really good cook. I want to make everyone happy. I see. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I'd love to help you. I'm not sure what exactly I can do about this, though. Thank you. You're I just love the thing that's used to okay, censor, I'm like, graphic, you know, like, yeah. mutilated corpses is being used to censor yeah. food. <laughs> for a balanced diet. Hmm. Why is this being censored again? <laughs> I don't think this has much nutritional value. Let's start with something more simple, like fried eggs. Censored again? That was really simple and easy. Oh, there's the sensor again. That's so strange. How can you do this just from frying an egg? <laughs> I almost feel like you're <laughs> <laughs> she almost doesn't see anything wrong with what she's doing. <laughs> Are you sick or something? It's something chronic. I've had someone else's memories implanted inside my brain as part of my mission. The memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, Togetsu's founder. They sometimes give me headaches. One time her memories temporarily became stronger. And I almost forgot who I was. That sounds really dangerous. Yes, I may have fought her off once, but I never know when her memories will surface again. I thought I'd cook to distract myself, but it didn't work. I wonder if this will plague me for the rest of my life. If this doctor's memories are a part of you, then maybe. Y yes you're right. I don't mean that in a bad way. I've been worried lately too. You have? Yeah. 
There's so much I don't know that could happen with my brain or with the world, but I don't let these situations stop me. I keep moving forward. That led me to become friends with all of you. The future always comes with a sense of uncertainty, but it's not necessarily bad. I'm sure you're right. I never felt uncertain or worried when I was in Togetsu. In exchange, I had to bury all my feelings. Right now, I'm scared about the future, but I get to live my life the way I want. Yeah, you're so animated now. Thank you. I'm scared of the doctor's memories because I care so much about who I am now. Okay, my headache is gone. Let's get back to cooking. All right. Let me try to think of a dish you can actually make. I know. How about a rice ball? Oh, that's very homey. What should I wash the rice with? I'll make the rice. You just shape them. Okay, that was some hard work, but we managed to do it. I think. They didn't quite end up in the shape you showed me, but I'm pretty proud of them. Let's go hand them out to everyone. I see you cooked. Again. Okay, if I left for a while. Rice ball. I'm sensing something sinister. <laughs> near that thing. Keep it away from me. <laughs> I'm so scared. And I understand where they're coming from, though. <laughs> it's incredible. See? How... You're right. They don't look great, but they taste all right. I guess if you say they're okay. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be the best well. hands down bond episode it's period it's the first time i've ever been complimented on my cooking really i guess that's not surprising i didn't know you'd be so happy i'm most happy about learning and applying something new on my own something that wasn't from dr pope's memories i see i guess making rice balls wasn't something the doctor bothered to learn if I continue to challenge myself like this every day and bring joy to people, building my own memories, maybe one day the doctor's thoughts will become a thing of the past. I'm sure you're right. I wouldn't feel this hopeful if it wasn't for you. Thank you. You don't need to thank me. Knowing that you watch over me gives me the motivation I need to do my best every day. I can't believe that little child is standing here in front of me right now, teaching me so much. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you don't need to compare me to the past. No, you're not a child anymore. I have to grow too. To not fear the uncertainty of the future, and to move forward. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Really? Then next time, I'll make rice balls without your help, and you can taste them. <laughs> what? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> it's easy for me to just treat you like a child if I don't think about it. But you're a fully respected soldier. I need to be more careful. <laughs> I've gotten used to it already. <laughs> I'm trying to take care of you, but it's like you're the one taking care of me. Maybe that's how people support each other. Thank you. Okay, bond level six. The extra uh, enhanced duplication. So when I throw an object, there's now a third copy of the weapon, which is super nice for like breaking stuff. So the shelf is gonna fill up with Baki dolls after all of this. Kasane. Oh, no, Bond episode. Good timing. Will you go to Kikuchiba with me? Yeah, sure. Why Kikuchiba? I thought we could go somewhere to talk, like when we went to Mizuhagawa. We won't need lunch. I just want to talk. Oh, got it. No lunch, huh? I guess that was too much last time. You not remember the message she sent you after the fact where she specifically said that she has a very 
very picky palette and she was happy with what you made for her. Let's go to the roof of that building. What was that? Uh, was that, uh, I'm assuming, you would tell. Mother was herself to the very end, dignified and strong-willed. I'm proud of her. Looks like Dr. Pope has no exist experience making sweets. I did well with cooking, so I want to try baking next. Okay, let's make it our goal to bake your birthday cake. I have to ask you to be a teacher, taste tester, and birthday boy that day. <laughs> I want to talk some more. I think I can reply. Yeah, I cannot reply well in battle. All right, now let's reply. Yeah, I am too. I only remembered her from when I was little. She was just, she wasn't just kind, she was strong too. She loved us with all her heart, both you and me. She did love us. It's strange just knowing that makes me feel stronger. Yeah, but to tell the truth, I want, I wanted to talk with her more. I told her that she'd probably tell me to get my act together. I understand how you feel. There's only so much... I want to say to her, there's so much I want to say to her, but we have to move on. With Mother's wish that we have a happy future etched into our hearts. Important to have goals. Let's take it one step at a time. I'm looking forward to a genuine peoka cake. <laughs> that makes me nervous. I'm going to go to the kitchen right now to practice. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should also double check on weapons. Hopefully everything uses S rank mats hey, to level up now. Do you remember when we came here together before? A lot has happened since then. Before? Yeah, I became an that? enemy of a state. You don't remember? You asked me if there was anyone I liked out of the blue. You know, when we went looking for Captain Seto's fountain pen. You said you were doing a background check. Oh, that. Back then? I had no idea that we'd get caught up in something that involved the whole world. Not just us, but everyone around us, too. It's nothing we could have expected. You're right. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Two large groups of others were confirmed near you. There are a lot of them. More than you usually see around there. It shouldn't be a problem for you two, but be careful. So, how should we go about this? Let's split up. We can work more efficiently that way. All right. I'll go this way. I'll contact you when I've cleaned most of them up. I'm counting on you. <sighs> Wataru wasn't joking. That sure is a lot. I hope Kasane is okay. Oh. This is more of them than I thought. How are things with you, Yuito? Kasane? What's going on? Wataru, what's the situation? Damn, I can't get through. Is the network down? I can't even use SAS. Calm down. Yeah. It's all right. I can do this. It's so quiet. I can't hear anyone. <clears throat> If I lose my power and go back to being a dud, it will always be like this. It's strange though. I'm not as scared as I thought I would be. I thought I would feel more lonely. Is it because Die. I'm stronger? Die! Die! You think you are gonna jump, you utter fool. Be kind of cool if there was throwables that you know exploded. Like, in my opinion, I I think it would have been cool in areas that have like enemies that do water and oil that there were would be items that could either explode or or, or like were live electrical stuff. 
So that way, you didn't have to necessarily use SAS to take advantage of that fact. I think there's something over there. I don't even think I'm going to be streaming for very long today because, like, if I beat the game, like, like I said, I'm not going to start Kasane's story. I may never even get to it, or I may get to it, a, you know, a year from now. Who knows? Um, there's just so many games to play, and I feel like I did get a gist of the story. I feel like I could probably just get the rest of it from watching YouTube. <laughs> Like, the problem is, is like, I don't know, it's weird. Because it's like, I've done that before. Like, a good example is I played Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. And the moment I beat that, I played back Kingdom Hearts 2. And there was actually information there that made relevant sense. Um, a good example is when Roxas first confronts Axel in the Twilight Dream sequence, like the Twilight Town Dream sequence, and he first pulls out Oathkeeper in Oblivion. Um Axel looks at him looks at him and he goes, Two? Right? Like he's surprised to see Roxas with two keyblades. But every form of representation in that game shows Roxas with two keyblades. Even his pedestal in the world that never was, in the castle, showed him with crossed keyblades. But Axel, his best friend in the organization, was shocked that he was using two. Why is that? Well, in 358 Days Over 2, he never used two keyblades until the end of the game. Where he was trying he was gonna storm the castle for Nomine. Not nominate, sorry, for Chion. And that's when Riku caught him. Pause. I'm just. I have three three points. I'm gonna take this. I saw some bars.
Oh, come on. That was a waste. Still down? We almost got it. We can finish this if we attack together. was a close one it was i wasn't really all that worried i assumed you would act when you did i was nervous i guess we can work together even without sas i don't think i could have pulled it off with someone else thank you for getting the timing right <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to hear a compliment from you you're always so harsh am i well whatever. <laughs> let's make our way to the top are we at the top? We can see the moon from here. It's beautiful. Ah, it's not e Nahida. So, what was it you wanted to talk about? When the fighting is over, what do you plan to do? I have a vague idea. It might be too grand, so you'll probably laugh. I won't laugh, no matter what it is. Thanks. I want to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. We've both seen a lot of bad things in this country. The world that we live in now is built on so much sadness and sacrifice. That's true. Suo, Seiron, and Togetsu. There were people suffering everywhere. So many people's lives were turned upside down because of the desire for the strongest power. Or using powers to alter time. It's got to end. This world can't exist just for powers. I won't let what happened to Nagi happen to anyone else. That's the least I can do for him. That's why I want to change the world. To make it a place where people don't have to rely on powers for everything. I know it will take a long time. But I feel like as a dud, I'm the perfect person for it. A dud? That's right. How's your head? They were saying you might lose your power. No big change at the moment. But if it really comes down to it, I'm prepared to become one again. You're pretty calm about it. The way you were talking, I thought you would be a little depressed. I mean, it will be inconvenient. But you know what? I'm not the least bit afraid. I thought the same thing when the network went down. Like I was fighting back to back with you, even without SAS. You thought the same thing? I wonder if that's what it feels like to lose your power. We're not just connected by SAS. Even if we can't see each other's faces or hear each other's voices, the most important thing, our connection, doesn't go away. What an interesting it's message so about moment. disconnecting from like that's the internet right. and stuff. When we first met, I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to count on you in a fight. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling you thought that. But you're different now. I think <laughs> the, the wing. The <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm relieved as well. I feel like I can leave this world to you. Leave? What are you planning to do? Well, I haven't decided on a clear goal yet. But I've sort of been thinking of something outside this world. Like, outside of New Himuka? You mean the moon? I've been thinking about it ever since I heard humanity came here from the moon. Outside this world is another world that I know nothing about, filled with people who are a mystery to me. They're suffering, just like the people here. They are attacked by others, and turning into them. Once I realized that, I couldn't ignore it. I thought maybe I could help somehow. The moon. I thought I understood the first time I heard about it. 
But the scale is just too big. It doesn't seem real at all. I certainly never thought about saving the people that live there. You really are amazing. I'm not amazing at all. I just don't want to regret neglecting the people I could have protected. I always felt that you were the kind of person that would step up to protect people, even if you're alone. It's almost as if you're not afraid of anything. I looked up to you when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like you. I think you're plenty like me. And you're giving me too much credit thinking I'm never afraid. <laughs> as you said before, the most important connections never go away. You mean Naomi? Not just her. The memories of my mother. And the time I spent with all of you. The only reason I'm not as afraid as I should be is because I know they'll always be with me. I know that they'll always be here, inside my heart. So, even if you're alone, you're never really alone? I kind of like that. That's why I feel like I can go anywhere, even going beyond the sky. <laughs> I know that sounds like a dream. I think you can do it. No, I know you can. Thank you. So, it looks like you and I will be going our separate ways. It won't just be us. I think everyone will find their own path and slowly drift farther apart. Yeah. I personally think Gemma's going to retire after all of this. But even apart, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. We should probably get back to the hideout. There's so much to do before and after a fight. We just have to take care of what's in front of us. Though, listening to you made me excited for the future. It won't be easy for either of us, so let's do our best. Both in our own places. Absolutely. I promise I'll make a better future, no matter how long it takes. You can take your time, but if you take too long, I'll bring peace to the moon and come back before you're done. <laughs> oh, so it's a competition now. I know you hate to lose. <laughs> a line beyond time. There's a lot that I wish hadn't happened, but I'm grateful I met you, Yuito. Saw Kasane Bond oh, 5. I am your Baki, after all. <laughs> I did say that. I think oh! That reminds me about the ampules that they have. Are those going to become relevant in this chapter? There. Did I get a... Uh, yeah. Speculating. But if we meet again after everything is over, I'd like to have a long talk with you. I want, I, just, I want to tell you things. I want to hear what you'll have to say. I want to talk with you more too. Don't take long on the moon. I might be able to change this world faster than you think. That's the spirit. I promise I'll finish my job and come back. Okay. Let's double check the... And, are there new presents at all? I doubt it, because I, I assume... Oh, there is. I feel like these are almost kind of inconsequential, unless someone isn't at rank 6. Though I, pro I assume there's probably an achievement for granting every gift as well. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Battle record S! Thank God. Oh my God. No idea how happy I am that it's Battle Record S.
Well, there's two different weapons here. Like that, so these are these like are like DLC weapons that I can craft. And they they come so this one looks like it's just the strongest out of the lot of them. But these ones come with additional effects. So this one's damage and crush effect versus pause plus 10% during SAS Clairvoyance, or if Sugumi is a battle party member, protagonist gets same boost. And this one is just a 25% bonus damage during Clairvoyance and Brain Drive activation. Uh, up during during SAS Clairvoyance, or if Sugumi is a battle protagonist, gets the same bonus. Right, like, like, what are, what are his? Yeah, so when, so it's basically the same thing though. These are are enemy specific. So this one's Sabbat, um, but it's basically the same thing. So his is Yawn. That seems kind of weird though. Oh, I guess because like, well, it's active, not necessarily. Uh, damage which is strong enemies and crush effects. I know this should specifically specifies Yuito because Kasane can only be a battle member if Yuito is the party party leader. I'm still completely confused as to like how that's phrased, I'm not gonna lie. And then I guess those are DLC ones that give huge boosts. I'm just going to quickly go to the bathroom really fast, and then when I return... I will, uh... I will continue doing some of the relationship missions, so I will be right back.
I am back. Sorry about that. Alright, back to the game. Alright, we'll do Luca next. <clears throat> Yuito, I have a favor to ask. Will you climb Hieno Mountain with me? God damn it. Sure, but why? Was there another warning there or something? No, I just want to climb the mountain. The truth is, I'm still worried about my power. Lifting weights is not enough to shake my insecurity. I want to put myself in an extreme situation to clear my thoughts. And you thought of Hieno Mountain. But you had a pretty tough time climbing it before. It was certainly difficult climbing the mountain with this body. But that's why I want to do it. I want to climb it with my own strength and see just how strong I've become. So I don't want you to help unless it's an emergency or another appears. You want to test your limits? Okay, but don't do anything crazy. Thank you very much. Maybe we're we off map. Back. I can still go on. I'm sorry for causing you some problems of late. Don't worry about it. It's good to talk to someone. I understand in theory that I shouldn't let losing my power bother me. But being a dud is something that has occupied my mind for a very long time. A dud's quality of life is hardly considered in current New Himuka society. It's the same as if they don't exist. If I lose my power, that's what will happen to me. And that scares me. I guess not being able to see the net or visions is the same as being ignored by the world. But since they're outside of society, doesn't that mean they can change it from the outside? That's just idealism. Society does not work that way. That may be true, but that doesn't mean you should just give up. You're still young enough to have hopes like that. I've been alive in this world for decades. I'm painfully aware of what can and cannot be done. I am not the child that I appear to be. I know you're not a child, so don't give up so easily. If you don't face the problem like an adult, nothing will change. But... but I... Uh... Watch out! Th thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was scary. I'm glad you didn't slip. Oh, I guess you could have teleported. It happened so fast. If I had fallen, that may have been it. You ended up saving me, even though I said I was here to test my own strength. Does it matter? I mean, I only helped you then. You climbed all this way by yourself. It's okay to get help when you really need it. I don't think being strong is doing everything by yourself without anyone's help. <laughs> I see. Oh, sorry. That was a little high-handed. No, you're right. You made me think of my brother. Former Major General Karin? He is adored by everyone. But he trusts no one and takes all the burdens on himself. I've always followed in my brother's footsteps. But I don't need to follow his path anymore. I don't want to be like Karin. In fact, I shouldn't be. <sighs> Yuito, I apologize for getting emotional. No, I was mouthing off too. Let's call it even. Alright. Now, let's get to the top. If we don't hurry, the sun will set before we get down. We're here. Oh, we made it. You did it. Yes, it was the result of my daily exercise. And your help. I was just along for the ride. Like I said, you got here on your own. Thank you. 
I really hope there's a moment where Luca does reveal to the group that he's a dud, because that's that'd be a huge step forward. It's strange. Especially, it may come out that Karin was also a dud within the story too. So. Nations and societies are just gatherings of those specs. If that's the case, perhaps something can be done. It looks like he has an idea. I guess the mountain climbing helped. All right. Thanks to our climb, I understand what issue I must focus on. That's great. So you're not worried anymore? No. First, I must get bigger. You don't mean <laughs> taller, do you? <laughs> I mean mentally. <laughs> you can't change the world alone. It requires small efforts by many people. So I want to have the capacity to accept everyone's ideas without losing myself. If I can depend on people and be depended on, Anything is possible. I see. You look satisfied. Yes, but this is only the beginning. I still have far to go. I'm impressed. He seems bigger already. Okay, I have to get to work too. Oh, how spirited. We should train together then. I will make a program right away. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Can't we just take it easy today? <laughs> I'll be frank. I have always been jealous of you. Oh. I would be lying if I said I wasn't still jealous of you. But slightly stronger than that feeling are my great expectations of you. I think you can change the world that I could only hate. I hope that I can help you do that. Thanks. Let's change our world together. You can use a charge teleportation attack. Hold six to charge, then release the teleport to an enemy in range. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright. Everyone in here. Oh, even Hanabi has a new one. Wow. Oh no, that's the team bond. Bond episode. Oh, Yuito. Sorry, I have some minor business to take care of. Okay, I guess I'll see you later then. I haven't really seen him since we talked. I wonder where he's going on his minor business. Hey, Yuito, I heard a strange report. Something about Kagero being placed into custody at OSF headquarters. What? What happened? I don't know the specifics. But the chief may have figured out that he's the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. This is moving too fast. It's my brother, so he might do something rash. How did Kagero get himself caught so easily? I'm going to see if I can get to the bottom of this. Kaito! What are you doing? I'm doing what you couldn't. I'm finishing this. Huh. How very decisive of you, Chief. An execution with no trial. I like the cut of your jib. Don't be stupid. Nothing will change if you go through with this. You're a fool if you think I'm going to let you stop me. I'm not as forgiving as you. Not as forgiving? I always thought you were much nicer than him. You can talk all you want, but don't think it will change your fate. I'm going to make you pay for your crimes with your life. Oh, yes, please do get on with it. I'd honestly prefer it that way. What did you say? Kagro? I know I need to atone for what I did, but really, repentance is so not my style. Plus, I come from the same time as Yakumo, your ancestor. People can only live for so long. So, if you can just go ahead and pull that trigger and put an end to this, Chief, I'll thank you from the other side. the gun down, Kaito. I won't let you kill Kagero. Why do you protect him? There isn't a single reason to let him live. Even putting aside my emotions as his son, 
killing Joe Sumeragi is a serious crime. He was necessary for the future of this nation. Not only did he steal our father, he stole our country's future. I know that. That's why I won't kill him. That's why I won't let him die. Kagero has a responsibility to build a new future and replace the one he stole. Until he fulfills that, he can't die. I won't let him die, no matter how much he wants to. So please, leave Kagero's life in my hands. Fine. I understand. I don't like it, but he's yours. For now. Thank you. I appreciate it. You make any wrong moves, there won't be a next time. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Did you get caught on purpose? I just wanted to set things straight for everyone. The chief is your brother, which means I killed his father too. So I thought it best to face him, at least once. Just like I did with you. I meant to have a peaceful conversation, but one thing led to another, and... No. I think you were well aware that my brother would probably kill you. The way I was talking? That was a bluff. I knew he wouldn't pull the trigger. I still have things I need to do. I'm pretty sure that's only half true. Well, who knows for sure. Could you just stop being so shifty, just for once? You may want to die, but I won't let you. Like I said, your life is in my hands now. You'll live in my father's place, and you will fulfill your responsibility. <sighs> Thanks. Are you sure you want to thank me? You said it yourself, dying would have been easier. Still, I feel like I should thank you. Because of you, I have another reason to live now. I was totally empty. I felt almost like a ghost. But you believe I'll take responsibility as long as I live. So, I guess I can't just run away. Kagero. I used to only think about the past. So I never really looked at what was there, right in front of me. The responsibility to build a new future. Well, you did grace me with your trust. I'll do all I can to make it happen. Good. So will I. And I'll be keeping a close eye on you as well. All right. Well, I guess it's time to contribute to society. Let's go out for a night on the town to revitalize New Himuka's economy. <laughs> Seriously? Your ability to change gears like that will never cease to amaze me. Now, we're going to party all night. <laughs> take me seriously no matter what I say. Although it may not seem like it, I really consider you a great man who I trust. Thanks. I didn't think you thought of me like... <laughs> Did you really think you could tease me like that and it'd work? See, that's what I mean. You didn't take me seriously. I'm trying to have a serious conversation here. <laughs> so, you just stay the way you are. If you do, I'm sure I'll be able to keep supporting you. I love you. <laughs> What's with that face? <laughs> what did you expect? I appreciate the sentiment, though. All right, let's get his bond. Yo, Raymond. Somewhere she did? Yeah. I'm going to see the thunderclouds. Thunderclouds? Is there a storm coming in? Is it safe to be outside? Apparently these are the biggest in decades. This is a chance to see real lightning. It's a little dangerous, but I can't pass it up. Wow. Now that I think of it, I've only ever seen images of real lightning. Oh, I don't mind if you tag along, if you're interested. Sounds fun. I'll take you up on that. All right, then get ready. We'll miss the thunderclouds if we take too long. 
I've never seen him this excited. See those big black clouds over there? Those are thunder clouds. Wow, cool. The clouds look like mountains. So the lightning will come from there? The forecast said it should be soon. I wonder what kind of lightning it'll be. You really like lightning, don't you? Is it because of your power? Yeah. It feels familiar. And it might give me a clue for using my power. I also love the remote and powerful image of lightning. I'd like to be like that. Remote and powerful. That does sound like him. Oh, a lightning strike! Did you see that? <laughs> oh god, he's like a kid in a candy store. I just kind of tagged along, but this is way better than I expected. <laughs> oh, that was close. I saw it so clearly. Hey, Shiden. Lightning is really cool. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> what did you expect? The mask kind of hides a little bit of probably the joy in his face, but it's so who cares? Beautiful. That powerful light. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. The clouds are breaking up. It's over. <sighs> that was awesome. It was. You seem down. Are you sad that it's gone? Yeah. But it got me thinking, too. Compared to that awesome force, my power is nothing. Well, you're up against a natural phenomenon. Of course a human can't stand up to that. I know that. It's not just lightning. Even compared to other people. I'm weak. I wanted to be as strong as Captain Seto someday. I thought if I worked hard, I could be a Septentrion. I worked for years like that, but I still have no title. I'm still just... Shiden. I know that I'm stronger than I was before, but maybe this is as strong as I'm going to get. That's not like you. Is earning the title of Septentrion that important? Of course it is. It's the OSF's proof of strength. If I have it, no one can say I'm not good enough. I don't disagree that the Septentrions are amazing, but there are powerful people like Arashi that don't have any special titles. You're strong too. I think so, and so does everybody else. Isn't that enough? I want more solid proof of my strength, so that everyone has to accept it. The reason everyone appreciated Captain Seto wasn't just because of his strength in battle. He was able to move people. He encouraged them and made them brave. He had strengths that I don't have. My plan was to use this mask once I thought I had reached his level. But if that day won't come, then maybe I shouldn't have it. Don't say that. Captain Seto had it made just for you. He had this mask made because he thought I would become strong like him. As long as I can't meet those expectations, I can't wear it. Don't be stupid. That's not Captain Seto's mask. It's your mask. So you have to use it. You don't have to be like him. What? I look up to him too, but his strength is different from ours, just like you said. And it's fine that it's different. Each of us are strong in our own ways. Strong in my own way. Pretty wise words for a rookie. I was being a little arrogant, but you know what I mean. In his message, Captain Seto did say that I should trust my own strength. He knew even back then what I was lacking. It looks like I've been worrying about the wrong things. Lightning's beauty isn't meant to be compared to anyone else. And it doesn't exist to receive a title. It just exists. And it's known throughout the world. That's the strength I need. You look like you feel better. <laughs> I wasn't feeling bad in the first place. I was just a little confused. 
but not anymore. That mask suits you. Of course, you already a had a mask. Was made for me. I guess I should thank you. I won't say this is thanks to you, but if we hadn't talked, my mind wouldn't have changed. Well, you're welcome. If you keep this up, it won't be long before you're a Septentrion. No, I don't need some worn-out title like Septentrion anymore. I want to be more. The best of the best. A title from someone else wouldn't suit me. My name itself will be synonymous with strength. So the highest title in the OSF will be she then? <laughs> I don't think anyone would want that. That's fine. That strength is only for me to achieve. I don't think that's quite right either. But I get the gist of it. Then I'll do my best to be the strongest Yuito. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a title that's far from your reach. You have a lot of work to do. Oh, I got his custom mask. Yuito? Tightly wounded bond. I'm sorry for always being so rude. I misjudged you. I realized that right away, but I just couldn't change the way I acted. Yeah, I know. You've got a bad mouth, but you're a good guy. That's a little aggravating, but it's fine. <laughs> I, uh, I think I should be more sincere with you. So I hope we can be friends. Why did his mask get taken off? I can't believe how close. Excuse me, rude. What? And it also removed his, uh... The game stopped messing with, uh, with this stuff. Did I not give her a second accessory? I might give her sunglasses. There's also white cat ears. <laughs> and you go sunglasses. Close you and I have become. It takes a lot for me to say something like that, so you better appreciate it. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Thanks. Right, and I'm gonna have a my entire body is sore all over from that. Even I cannot say we should continue training after we get back. I'm filled with a sense of accomplishment, however. It was not only making the climb, but because you are with me, Yuito, thanks. Thank you. I learned a lot from you, Luca. I feel like I'm on the verge of understanding something too. We can talk again while we're ex while we're exercising. Of course. And with you all the way. From now on, when we're feeling lost, let's remember the view at the top of, of Hino Mountain. I won't let you die. Your life is in my hands. Man, what a line. You almost had me swooning. Stop kidding around, okay? Now that you we've played hard, it's time to work hard. Prepare yourself, Kagura. Oh, I guess I'll actually put in some... Okay, I guess I'll actually put in some effort. Didn't think you'd be so excited to see lightning. It's not bad to have someone who can share your interests. Never knew that. Never seen you that worked up before, Sheedon. Those thunderclouds really were amazing, though. I hope you invite me again. Yeah, I feel like I can say things before the power of nature that I normally never could. I'll invite you again if I feel like it. Oh. I heard to ask you something. What are you into? Just. This is just part of the background check. Like Baki and collect Baki merchandise. Hey, why are you doing the background check on me anyways? I won't be answering that. It's not a bad thing to be into. No more questions. <laughs> you 
have a second, Yuito? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. Okay. Where are we going? A cemetery near Sumeragi Tomb. I'm going to go pay respects to my friend Masaki. There wasn't a body we could bury, but his brother added his name to the family grave. So he has a proper grave. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure you don't need more time? Well, this was enough. He already knew everything I wanted to tell him. I was thinking about what went down at Mizuhagawa. There were so many people discarded that way. Yeah. We only found one truck's worth, but I'm sure there were many more before it. They say that many retired soldiers die quickly or go missing. I thought it was just the toll of serving in the OSF, but it could be all the government's doing, trying to secure the brains they need. I wouldn't be surprised if the government did that. It's chilling to think about. They use what's useful and discard what isn't. People are just tools to this nation. But we aren't tools. We have a chance for another life when we can't fight anymore. I won't forgive them for taking away that possibility and discarding them like trash. I feel the same. That's the way they treated my best friend. You mean Nagi? Yeah. He and Masaki both had so much life ahead of them. We need to end these types of things from happening in our lifetime. I thought that my role in the OSF was ending. But it looks like there's this giant task still left. I want to right this nation's wrongs and protect the future. As someone who is still remaining. You're not planning on doing that all by yourself, are you? I'd like to help too. Thanks. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Well, shall we head back to the hideout? Hey, there's somewhere I want to stop by. Okay, where are we going? I wanted to go to this restaurant, but I couldn't bring myself to go in alone. I'd be grateful if you came with me. Surprise original Gyoza Suzaku. <laughs> That's an impressive sounding place. I became more interested in food since our last excursion. I started looking up trendy new restaurants on food websites when I have time. So, you have a new hobby. Is it nearby? Yeah. I realized when I looked at the website that Masaki and I used to go there together all the time. The restaurant's name and atmosphere completely changed after the previous owner died, so I hadn't visited since. But there's no point in only looking at the past. I have to try the new gyoza for myself. Their popular dishes are the Ogre Hell Gyoza and <laughs> Pinal Dragon Gyoza? It's hard to imagine those are names for food. <laughs> their names are what matters is how they taste it's good to be adventurous <laughs> You're right. that is true but naming Although, schemes do have something have just a short while to the ago. to the point Perhaps. remember it's bar discovered. rescue points that out it's like you have like really drink awful drink. sounding drinks no one's gonna buy them he's memory by enjoying what life i have left you look at peace i think you've gotten younger don't be ridiculous but a weight has been taken off my shoulders. It's been a while since I felt this way. All right. Let's try these surprise gyoza then. Eat as much as you like. It's my treat. Maybe we can take some back to the hideout for everyone. That's a good idea. I just hope they taste as strange as their names. No kidding. I think everyone's level six now, right? Try something new sometimes reminds me of an old old memories. It's strange. Some things are too new for me though. I'll never imagine that f that food that explodes if you don't eat it fast enough would exist. The final dragon gyoza surprised me too. With the fire breathing and explosions, I couldn't even pay attention to the weird flavor. Seriously, I'm always finding new things with you. I hope we can do it again. Alright, so everyone should be at rank 6, so I can do the party, the, the party bond now. I'll talk, I'll do it through Kusane. Oh! Well, she apparently has another bond episode. Perfect timing. I wanted to talk to you. 
You want to talk? What about? About Nagi. I found an unread message from him. You have a message from him? Thinking about the fact that I can't reply back made me start thinking about him. So I wanted to talk to you. What kind of message did he send you? I can forward it to you, if you want to read it. No, he wouldn't like it if I read the messages he sent to people. I'd want to read what Naomi wrote. I'd read all I could. That's so you. Just give me the gist of it. It's nothing special. We should all train together again. Say hi to your sister. Things like that. We should train together again? <laughs> oh, he's talking about when we trained in Mizuhagawa. It feels like that was so long ago. Yeah, it really does. Uh, hey, why don't we go train there again? Sure, I won't hold back. Just what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I do find it interesting too, though, that like, so Nagi had a crush on Naomi, but Kasane did reveal too that Naomi had a crush on on Yuito. I don't care. Watch out for electric attacks. You won't be able to move if you're electric. You two used to train together a lot. Yeah, all the time. Once we became official OSF, Nagi wanted to train outside the city. Pretty audacious of him to invite Naomi. He wanted to look cool in front of her. You ended up coming instead of her, though. What? You actually asked Naomi to train with you at this skill level? I don't think so. <laughs> now it's starting to feel like training. You're so strong, Kasane. You need to finish. You've got a long way before you can invite Naomi to train with you. I'll come back when I'm stronger. <laughs> Last time we fought with our powers like this was our enlistment day. We should make a routine out of this. Once I'm stronger, I can finally ask Naomi. <laughs> we can talk about that later. <laughs> Let's do it. There. And it's not going to be an actual fight because Nagi's not playable. It's not working. Uh, uh, ah! What the hell? Does it I wonder if in Kasane's story though it gets revealed that um Naomi took the bullet for Kasane. Which makes me think that it may have been Togetsu behind that whole thing because they felt like Naomi was or Kasane was getting out of their control. So they were to, they were just going to basically delete her. That was close. But then again, Togetsu isn't the one that took Naomi's teleported away Naomi's monster form. Or other form. So it's hard to say. Even I couldn't have handled that. Sometimes retreat is the best strategy. Are you trying to console us? Not intentionally. I'm sure we'll face situations like this hundreds of times in the future. Yeah. That's our job, after all. It's a dangerous job. We could die at any moment. Hey, Yuito, if I get killed by others... Don't say that. I'm just saying, hypothetically. Anyway, oh, he didn't get killed by others, so quit fighting. Nagi. <sighs> that was a tough battle we were in. The thought of what I'd do if you were killed by an other right in front of me just popped into my head. I'm fine with dying, but for my best friend to die? I never imagined it before. If that happened, I I'd probably get scared. 
I thought that I might not be able to fight again. You're right. If I imagine that happening to you, I might not be able to keep my composure. Right? It's impossible, honestly. But that's no good. That's why we need to address it now. Yeah. No matter what happens, we'll continue to fight. Whether it's you or me who dies first, one of us will carry on the mission and protect the city. It's a promise. Yeah. It's a promise. Not that I plan on dying that easy. And I haven't gotten any closer to Naomi thanks to a certain someone. I wonder who you're referring to. <laughs> anyway, They're both obstacles, so what does it matter? And you're already talking about dying? What? You want us to talk about our bright That's smart future? though. What the what hell is she talking about? The moment I can guarantee you any person in the military, regardless of country, has an active will. You don't give up. Absolutely. It's probably a mandated thing within joining the army. If you are actively enlisted that you have your affairs in order. Hey, because you can literally die at any moment. Spot. Yes, I knew you wanted to train again. Although it's just the two of us instead of four. <laughs> Looks like there's a resource nearby. Sure, if it's the same one, but they sure are receptive of us. Well, I'm not the same as before. I'm not running this time. We should be able to beat it. It's coming. Get ready. That must be its weak spot. So its weak spot is only there after it charges. Just getting rid of the ads here. I am a little stronger now, but Nagi isn't with me anymore. Yuito. She should be here next to me, telling us how strong we've become after defeating that other. Back then, I never thought we'd be parting ways so soon. I thought we had many years of fighting and getting stronger together. I know we made a promise, but I can't go on like nothing happened after losing you, Nagi. But you've kept your promise. You haven't given up protecting the city and the world. You remembered our promise? I didn't understand what you were talking about then. I thought Naomi would never die because I would be there to protect her. But the reality was nothing like that. No matter how hard you try... Not only that, but Naomi died protecting Kasane, so... It's almost kind of the reverse. You have to keep on living. Now I understand how meaningful the promise you made to each other was. Yeah. I have the promise I made with him. We have to continue our fight. Not just with the others, but to change the world. We can never stop. Thank you. 
he's still pushing me forward even when he's gone. He's the best friend anybody could ever have. The wind. Let's head on back. Fighting the others was plenty enough training. Wait, Yuito. Mm -hmm. What is it? Can we make a promise right now? If one of us dies, the other won't stop fighting. Kasane... Even if we don't stay on the same path, we won't stop. We'll keep moving forward. Yeah, I promise. I'll never stop. Sorry. I uh, paused it again because uh, my internet or the bitrate did drop once again. It's a promise. At least I caught that one right away. Can I have a minute of your time? Of hmm? course. Is something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We only have so much time, so I wanted to talk to you more while I can. You think that's not like me. I'm not as single-faceted as you might think. I don't think Kasane is even deeper. Kasane can now activate EX Power Crush Vision. Um, while Kasane will start calling out when you perform a Brain Crush... They respond with C and she will follow up with her own brain crush to take down surrounding enemies. That's actually really awesome. Right. So I guess I should just listen to anyone about anything, you tell. I guess that's what being gracious is. I guess I should double check everyone. But I think I'm pretty normal. Yep, she has one too. Are always open for you. You know, I'm gonna get the team bond episode out of the way so I can just identify who still has bond missions. Everyone, will you listen to me for a minute? Huh? What's wrong, Gemma? Why are you shouting? Sorry, but while everyone is here at the hideout, I have something to say. It must be important if it makes you look that serious. Come on, everyone, <laughs> listen to him. <laughs> Gemma always looks like that though don't worry about how i look i'd like to reprimand arashi for her violation oh i have something to say too don't leave your stuff in my personal space by personal space do you mean what we agreed about when we merged yuito and kasane platoons the agreement was to have everyone keep their belongings in their own space right arashi your stuff is all over the place your personal space seems to be growing. Yeah, it's three centimeters bigger than it was yesterday. Is that really a big deal, Shiden? What's that supposed to mean? It's not like we drew lines on the floor or something. There was never any rule about not expanding your space. That's unfair, Arashi. This hideout is for everyone, so we have to use it fairly. Then let's make a new rule. Hmm. How about we have a contest? And if you win, I'll get the space back. If I win, I get half of the loser space. Even though you took your extra space unfairly? That doesn't sound right. What kind of contest? You mean with our powers? No, how about a game instead? I just stumbled across a good one. Wait, what? That's Final Jockey. That game was really popular in the OSF a long time ago. Hey, I made a name for myself as a genius jockey in Suo. You're sure about what you just said? Of course I am. All right. I'll be taking Arashi's space then. Don't come crying to me when you fall off your horse. You lose? No, it, it can't be. Me, the undefeated <laughs> jockey genius Kaburo, lost? But Arashi, you cheated. You used hypervelocity to push the button faster. 
Hey, that's just strategy. No one said you couldn't use your powers. But just pushing the button fast drains stamina and you'll lose. Huh, I got it. You glitched the game by pressing the buttons fast. Ugh, you play dirty. <laughs> Say what you will, scrubs. If you don't like it, you can come face the true king of this unit. Me, with all the powers you have. Hey. Then, how about facing me? I want more room for another planter. And I feel bad for Kagero. Oh, me too. I want more space for my Baki collection. I'll pass. I don't understand all that pew pew stuff. I'll sit out too. This is all so ridiculous. I'll just move Arashi's stuff with my psychokinesis. I'll settle for watching as well. I enjoy physical exercise much more than virtual contests. Okay, all right. The Fraser twins are in it to win it. <laughs> now I'm involved in this. Let's just have a fair game. <laughs> How many people can play at once? I'll join if there's room for me. This looks like fun. I want to play with everyone too. <laughs> I want to play too. Just hold on a second. Let me get my lucky bandana. Then I'll pray. Okay. <laughs> now my lucky power is fully charged. <laughs> I'll take you all on at once then. Let the games begin. This is not gonna go well for her. I like Kiyoka. Like, you see Kiyoka, how she has like two fingers pointing down. Like, <laughs> can you tell she's not too familiar? Horses are out of the gates. Arashi is so fast. That hyper velocity is pushing it as fast as any pro. First things first, we have to stop Arashi. Wait, it looks like Yuito locked Arashi's buttons with his psychokinesis. You've got a lot of guts going against me like that. What? That great item I just got was completely wasted. Arashi's playing dirty as expected. She used hyper velocity to push buttons on Yuito's controller. Meanwhile, my angel Sugumi's horse seems to have stopped. I didn't realize my horse's stamina was running out. Oh, I made the same mistake. I was furiously trying to push the button as fast as I could. I guess the glitch doesn't occur when you rapidly push buttons without hypervelocity. Also, Sugumi and Hanabi's powers aren't suited for video games, putting them at a disadvantage. Huh. They can just use their natural ability then. Oh, she then is creeping up on Arashi while she tries slowing down Yuito. Take a banana peel! Huh? She then's character suddenly stopped moving. He fried the controller. What? Sheedan must have accidentally let an electrical surge through to the controller. It's broken. I see. Makes sense considering how careless he is. What was that? <laughs> what did you say, Kagero? Oh, the Kyoka's gonna win because she's gonna use duplication. Very angry. What are those two doing? Maybe they're having a telepathic argument. <laughs> There's no telling what they're saying, but it seems very serious. That's right. Haruka is totally evil. <laughs> oh, shut up. You're the one that said I sucked just because I messed up the controls a little. I didn't even want to play this stupid game, but you had to get me involved with your telepathy. Uh, back to the race. It seems like Arashi and Major Kyoka are still in it. They are very far apart, though, at this rate. What's this? Did a secret invulnerability carrot just appear? Kyoka used it. Huh? My horse is glowing after getting that carrot thing. Major Dash, bump into Arashi. Huh? What? What's going on? Wow. Kyoka's horse swung Arashi's horse away. Then I'll be taking this unit space. I'll be splitting it up amongst everyone evenly. That's an end to this violation thing. No more arguing, got it? Hey, let's do it again, but with no powers. This game is really fun. Come on, Luca, you too. Me? Well, I guess I could give it a try. 
<laughs> Everyone's having a blast. That game may be old, but it sure has value. Yeah. Recreation is important, after all. You're really good at games, Arashi. I doubt I could beat you even if you didn't use your power. Yeah, but she lost to a novice gamer like Kyoka. I like how my wing is like slicing into her neck. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Arashi, Kyoka, and Gemma were in cahoots. Sorry. We now have different groups joining together to fight, which can be awkward. Kyoka also said it'd be a good opportunity to get used to each other. Gemma and I have caused problems before, so we wanted to help everyone get along to make up for it. That's why Arashi risked being the target for revenge. We figured the group would cooperate against a common enemy. It wasn't that big of a deal. If everyone works well together, then I can slack off even more. <laughs> so, you laid your stuff out all over on purpose? No, she's been messy since before we hooked up with your platoon. Kagero seemed to have noticed our ploy too. Yeah, he joined the What happened to the bunny ears I put on Kyoka? Or I put on Arashi? Did I take them off? I guess mission accomplished then. Everyone had a blast. I did too. Right? Even I was having fun after noticing it was all set up. Yes, it was fun just watching. Yeah, it was almost like a family reunion or something. How about another round? With Kasane and Gemma playing this time. I'm actually feeling up to it today. I guess I'll give in just this once. How about it, Kasane? Okay, but I'll be taking the win. Maybe I'll talk to Arshi for a change. Wait. Why why did he say that? Do I have, uh, where is she? She's over here. Yeah, so I have rank, I have the rank six thing. I don't have it with Arashi, so I'm going to look at seemingly getting an item here from her. Exchange, presents. God, there's so many gifts that I can get. I'm going to get it for all the characters that I have uh, active. Oh. There's some stuff I can't get, obviously, because I need the materials, but I'll try for everything I can get. I think I'm kind of done grinding, though. So I'm just going to pick up the stuff I know I can get. I got all of hers, just gotta go to Kagero now. Magician costume set. There you get that one. Acoustic guitar.
And then those are all the extras. All right, where is... I got gifts for you. This is amazing. Thank you. I didn't think anything would go higher than rank 6, so that's why I didn't... Oh, he's actually using it. He already has that one. I think I got that as a quest reward. Construction models? Construction vehicles? This is very nice. He's playing with them. <laughs> and then the cargo vehicles. Thank you. Kasane. Oh, this is just going to be an instant. Uh, next level crush. Or the... See, picture with Kasane. Viewable in character view mode. There's the wood carving ring and bracelet. No. Workboard. Drink bottle. Okay. Passionate flower planting. No, she, no. She's actually hold. Or no, I thought she was holding some in her hand. It's just the vision thing. I thought she was gonna put it on the desk. go in the pole yep nice 
So that's all of her. Uh, I have tons of gifts for Arashi. <laughs> She's gonna love me for this one. You know what I like. Thanks. Nice one, Yuito. Cola is a source of my energy. I can never have enough. I go through a lot every day, so don't be stingy. Oh, could you clean up the empty bottles while you're here? <laughs> she just passed out on the couch with a bottle of... <laughs> God is so good. console too you're really prepared <laughs> is there anyone who can beat me in a real match by the way ndf soldier z is good for beginners it's a zombie that can come back after getting killed 25 times <laughs> she's playing it with kagero that's kind of cool <laughs> I wonder if she can be seen, like, playing it with multiple people, or if it's just Kagero. You have a good eye. Halt following, but it disappeared after some po someone posted spoilers on Cynet. Want to try it? Wouldn't have bought this game myself, but thanks, Baki's Adventure. Is this something you're into, Yuito? <laughs> God, I love Arashi. Arashi's great. You find something interesting when you read. And she's reading it somewhere? Yeah. Last gift. Hmm. Looks like all the organizations are busy with developing character goods. I got a bunch of gifts for Kiyoka. Thank you. Three power stone. They say a power stone the same color as your eyes can act as a positive charm. I want to talk to Luca for a change. Yeah, well, Luca can wait because I'm busy talking to Kyoka. I feel like I can see the future, but crystal bars aren't just for fortune telling. Apparently, crystals gather power just laying around. I wonder what kind of power will it will be.
I do like, though, that after giving gifts, they're not just sitting there for decoration. Like, you actually can see the characters using it. Where'd she go? Oh, she's reading. You know, it's not all every person I've given that gift to. It's it's not even a, like a heart icon worth of a gift, but apparently it's all good enough that they have to start reading it immediately. Every single person. This is nice. <sighs> And then room fragrance. This is nice. All right. Oops. Wait. Look at the cola. <laughs> There's Sheedens somewhere. Is Sheedens in there then? I, did I get anything for Kagero? Yeah, I got tons of things for Kagero, right? Magician, m magician costume set. Good taste. Does this unlock Top Hat for him? Because if it does, he's wearing it. Horns be damned. Pulls flowers out. <laughs> Good taste. Look at Arashi's corner. <laughs> like, like when it's the, like this is my room almost. Like, take out the pile of pillows, but like. Team Bond level, reached level 5. The team with a really strong bond and ability and are allowed to wear the white battle attire. Hey, is it one acoustic guitar or is it four?
Yeah, it's four. Because it just said acoustic guitar. Not acoustic guitars. Really? Thanks. And he's playing with a rush. <laughs> and he keeps losing. Sheeden. Thank you. There's a... You're giving it to me? You won't regret this, will you? you? Need to learn how to use it. I can take good pictures. Now I can shoot landscapes. I guess I could take you take your picture too. He does look kind of excited with that. I knew he was going to say something when, when the item was called slightly lighter. I wish you could kind of see like the gauge of like where they stand on like relate like friendship. Oh my god, I haven't even checked out that those the objectives. Oh okay. So this one here, this add-on that I didn't know. So this is where I'm assuming you get to either play as Karen or at the very least watch him as he, when he goes back in time. So you're, you get to see that perspective of things. That's cool. I guess that, that makes sense now for what it is. I don't have any gifts for her. Did I get any gifts for you? I did. Oh no, I've already given that. And I've already given that. Gamma, I think I got Gamma stuff. No, I didn't. Well, let's do the Link stuff, then. I would really like to do it with Arashi, though. I think Arashi's the only one that's not ready yet. Maybe... Can I rebuy... Can I rebuy any of Arashi's? Like the cola set. Oh, 
I'll re-give her these two and see where it goes. He did say to keep giving her more cola, though, so... Now, granted, her next stage could be linked behind a mission, too, not just merely a level up, so. You know what but I find that hard to believe, because I'm at endgame now, so. So, do you know what you're doing for lunch today? If you don't have plans already, do you want to go out with me? I found a good restaurant. What the? Yeah, I want to go. What kind of restaurant is it? It's a small diner. People say it's one of the best kept secrets in cuisine. I figured I'd go try it with you. A diner? I guess I haven't been to many of those. Okay. She just used psychokinesis to grab water from the cooler to water her plant? And then dropped like a significant amount of art. Also, I'm pretty sure I talked to Kyoka, not Gemma. Huh. Oh, there we go. Carrying that big bag? Oh, Gemma and Yuito. Are you going out together? Yeah, we're heading to lunch. What's in the bag? Whew. I bought a bunch of fortune items that were on sale. You really did buy a lot. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm okay. I can always make more if I need a hand. See? <laughs> that really is a useful power. I don't do it when I'm alone because I get stares walking down the street with myself. Kyoka, do you want to join us for lunch? Oh, that would be nice. It's been a while since we grabbed lunch. Oh, right. You two have known each other a long time in the OSF. I bet you have a lot of stories. Is there anything you want to know? Maybe about Gemma back in the old days? <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean like 10 or 20 years ago? I don't think much has changed. That's something you don't notice yourself. You didn't have that armor on your arm back then. You mean the one on his left arm? Yeah, you're right. I didn't need this before. I think I mentioned that my arm is hardening as I age. It doesn't get in the way much, but it's scary to look at, so I decided to hide. So people wouldn't have to look at it. That's so like you, to act so unselfishly. He was a bit different back then. When we first met, he was even more serious and quiet. I can't imagine him more serious than he already is. He would sacrifice himself to suppress others. I was always worried he'd do something reckless. Well, I appreciated the sentiment. She kept handing me charms back in our Kyoka platoon days. Especially that one that was so... unique. Was it that unique? I liked that one because the vibrant design cheered me up. A vibrant design? What kind of charm was it? <laughs> I'll give you one next time. Gemma, you've really changed since then. Especially since you've met everyone. You might still be serious, but I think you've softened somehow. Softened? You don't mean my sclerokinesis power is weakened, right? <laughs> she means your personality. I find it easier to talk to you now compared to when we first met. Yes, you're not as hard to approach as before. You must have opened up a bit. Does it seem that way? Then it must be thanks to Yuito. Wait, thanks to me? Yeah. I was constantly worrying about my retirement and about Masaki. I bet if it weren't for you, I would be One even second. more stubborn. My outlook has turned in a positive direction thanks to you. I learned how to enjoy life outside of work. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing. Your oh, noise. right. 
I wasn't sure if it was my roommate or something. That's right. Did you find one? Yeah, I walk around looking for good restaurants. Food can be interesting when you take it seriously. That's nice. And eating good food can help relieve stress. I need to work on my cooking. I'm counting on you to taste my creations, Yuito. Uh, I guess I did promise you that. Okay. Leave it to me. <laughs> I guess I'll have to work hard and make a lot. <laughs> Don't go overboard now. Talking with you now, you guys are a little different from before. A lot more relaxed. Hmm? I, in all honesty, you could see the shift in Gemma. Gemma shifted when what happened with Naomi occurred. I think it's when he realized that OSF wasn't as perfect as he thought it was be. Like, how he wasn't just a soldier anymore. It's an other one. There wasn't even a forecast. It's close to here. We should go handle it. Are you two up for it? No problem. Let's go, Yuito. Let's take care of them quick. I'm sure the people in the city are terrified. Their expressions changed so suddenly. Just having a relaxing conversation. I need to focus too. There are a lot of them. Can't we split up? No, the three of us should fight together. It will be over faster if we focus our strength. Right. There are a lot of blind spots in this place. No die! Let's cover each other. Copy that. I can hit it! Glad you two are with me. Where's the next one? Just like the idea of him getting swarmed by cars. <laughs> Oh, do we have to go through here? What? Why is there an invisible wall?
There has to be a big enemy to finish this off. Like, it's not just gonna be fodder the whole time. It's gonna be a yawn or a sabbat. Excuse me, cat. Excuse me, cat. Don't knock my stuff down. There it is. The Brimion. So I don't. Where's the weak? The weak points in the mouth. Only if there were ch I could throw chairs, because then I could shout out, "Hit him with the chair!" There we go. That's all of the others. It didn't take as long as I thought. We'll be able to make it back for lunch. I can't wait to see what kind of place it is. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to get back my belongings. You guys really know how to switch gears. You kept your composure despite the sudden battle. You really are veterans. You were quite impressive out there, too. It's hard to believe it's only your first year. I mean, I'm more used to fighting now than before, but I'm still frantic on the field. I can't stay calm like the two of you. <laughs> I might seem relaxed, but I'm always frantic in battle, too. Really? It doesn't look that way at all. You always seem so calm and unaffected. Just because I have experience doesn't mean I lost all emotion. I still feel anxious and scared facing others. What's important is not to let those feelings get the better of you. Yes. Being able to control your emotions is a form of strength. A lot of powers are affected by your emotions as well. Some people carry around objects to help them emotionally so they can maintain their composure on the battlefield. Like a picture of their family. For me, I carry this around and look at it sometimes during combat. A charm? <laughs> that has a really crazy design. Hmm. Wait, is that... Isn't that the charm I gave you a long time ago? You still carry that around? Yeah. At first I was just carrying it around because it was a gift. But before I knew it, I couldn't go without it. When I look at it... I imagine your worried gaze. When I think that someone is worried about me, I realize I have something to live for. And it keeps me focused. <laughs> so that composure I saw from you is because of her charm. Exactly. Kyoka, let me thank you again for giving this to me. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Thank you for <laughs> keeping it all this time. Why are you thanking me? You're already helping me. Now, is this a mission for both of them? Enough where I couldn't tell where the lies ended and the truth began. But I always believed that the worry I felt for everyone was real. That's why I'm happy that got across to you. I finally realized that there was truth within the lie. So, thank you. That's not just me. It got across to everyone in your platoon. Of course. 
The same goes to the rest of us now. You too. I know. Why don't I give you a new charm as a token of my gratitude? I, I just bought. No, you've already given me plenty. I think I have enough. I don't need any more. Can I have that? Not to copy Gemma, but I want to help you. Yes, I'd love for you to have it. I'll pick a sturdy one that will last you a long time. Thanks. When I look at the two of you, I realize how special having a friend you fought alongside with for years must be. Someone you fought many battles with. I want to stand alongside the both of you one day. But I could be losing my power, so I might not be able to fight as many battles. What are you talking about? We've already fought through so many. You're already one of us. Thanks, Gemma. <laughs> I'll make the charm a big one as a token of my affection. <laughs> what? A uh, big one? Her charms get bigger every year. I have so many. <laughs> I guess I should be ready for that. I look forward to fighting alongside the both of you. <laughs> hey, Yuito. What do you think of me as a person now? Now? Well, you're gentle, you care about other people, and you're surprisingly cl uh, kind. Was he gonna say clumsy? I'm glad. That's completely different than the doctor I know. I've been thinking lately. I want to live more as myself. I think that's thanks to you. When I talk nonsense like this, I think that's Kyoka. Yep. How are you, Yuito? She has another one? Characters viewer mode. I guess it's this. Oh, there's a gift missing. Two gifts missing. Oh. Is that the image we got? I, I unlocked? <laughs> Who's the other one that... Kasane, right? Oh, that's a nice one. I'm assuming, like, Luca, for example, yeah, I only have the two. Another one?! Well, since we're at it, let's uh, let's continue with Gamma. Yuito, have you gotten taller? Have I? I guess that means I'm still growing. I really am different than a scouted member. The anti-aging drug works slowly on plenty of scouted members too. Your body growing is never a bad thing. When I was young, I tried to train my body as much as possible before the drugs took effect. <laughs> That's why you got so big. So, yeah, I was able to get a body strong enough to protect my friends. That's kind of cool. You were born in different generations, but that does another one. Well, I got a picture with Gemma, and then another one.
The Gumi! Something is totally off. What's wrong, Sugumi? Nothing. Just leave me alone. I'm fine. No, something's different. You haven't looked at me in the eye all day. That means something is up, Sugumi. Stop yelling my name. Whoa, what? You hate it that much? I did I do something wrong? What's wrong, you two? Good timing, Yuito. Listen to this. Sugumi's been acting really cold lately. Sugumi has? Don't worry about it, Yuito. This is nothing new. Well, you heard her. I know it for a fact. She's about 0.5 degrees colder than usual towards me. <sighs> Kagura, let me talk to her. Sugumi, do you want to get something off your chest? It's not that I'm acting cold towards him. It's just... It's just... Never mind, it's nothing. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. I'm sure he did something to deserve it. Uh, <laughs> you're right, though. I'm sure it's my fault. Sorry. Don't be mad. I'll do anything. <laughs> I know. You want to see a magic trick? Or I can play the guitar. I are there other gifts that I got him? <laughs> I got it. Let's go out then. I found a florist in Ceyron selling rare flowers. Rare flowers? Yeah, I'm sure you'll love it. Let's go. And let's go back to being best friends again. I'll go to the florist. Mind if I tag along, Kagro? I'm a little worried. No problem. Thanks. I'm sure Sugumi will feel better if you come. Now there's no time like the present. Let's head over there right now. I'm not too familiar with Seiron's layout. Just ahead. Why don't we stop by for some tea on the way home? <laughs> oh boy. How long has Sugumi been like this? Hmm. I have no idea, to be honest. You know how clandestine I can be. I won't deny that. But you're thinking it's something else. Wow. You read my mind. Stop teasing. Still, it bothers me to see you two not getting along. Kagura, Yuito! Whoa! Great. Looks like I don't have time for this counseling session. Let's take care of them, fast! I'll buy you a soda later! <laughs> Why don't you use my power with SAS? Use 
Hello. Dead. That was a piece of cake. It sure is different when you have people with experience. <sighs> it doesn't seem like any of us are hurt. You okay, Sugumi? I'm fine. Good. Let's go then. That really threw us off schedule. Now, I wonder if this has to do with her Sugumi? eyesight. She mentioned that she was slowly going blind. Hey, Sugumi. I think I realized what it is. Is it about my secret? <sighs> you treated my wounds without a word then. But I'm sure you had a lot on your mind. Uh, I was wondering. I thought it might have been like with her, her eyesight. I mean, I really unloaded on all of you. I'm sure it was heavy. The things I did... What happened to my family? <sighs> Kagero. Sugumi. Okay. If you don't want to tell me, I won't ask again. I'll try to stay away if I'm just making you miserable and uncomfortable. <sighs> so please, stop making that face. That's the last thing I'll ask of you. It's not that. Sugumi. I think you should be honest about your feelings with Kagero. I know this isn't what either of you want. I'm not sure I'll be able to get it across, but will you hear me out? Yeah, of course. And the reason why I can't look or talk to you, Kagero, oh, it is she is going is blind. I found out about his family. Yeah. Oh no. I thought that maybe you're only nice to me because I thought it was going to be your eyesight. chasing after traces of her i've watched how hard you've worked you're strong kind and most of all a good person there's a kitty i really want to rubbing up against me once heart. this finishes i'm gonna go feed I'll the do cats to put a smile on your face Kagura. maybe it is parental affection when it comes down to it but you're not a replacement for her i can promise you that In a lot of honesty, like, a lot of the good parents I've met in my life, including my own mom, for example, are literally, like, parents, like, they're parents to all their kids, like, friends, like, or, or like, almost any kid. Right? So, like, I can totally believe what Kagro is saying here. It's like... You know, like, it's a different circumstance for him because he lost his daughter. And, you know, that also happens, too, is where sometimes parents latch on. I've even read stories on Reddit like that, where it's like they lose their child and they latch on to another child. And it gets unhealthy. Hold on, Yuito. Don't act like you're not a part of this. Come on, let's go. Hey! The florist, then tea. Let's get going. Okay, okay. The problem though is like I always imagine that Kagero and, and Sugumi could have been like a pair, right? Like a ship shipping thing. But like this kind of just emphasizes the idea that Yuito and Sugumi could end up together instead. Like as competition for Hanabi. They want to water me? I already know Hanabi's the jealous type because uh because of Naomi. Then I want to water you too. I want you to be happy. God, what is this? What are these analogies? 
feel warm and happy. How does she... How does hers work? Because her power isn't offensive. Oh, it's just a gunshot. <laughs> I'm gonna crush their brain! You shoot out the others! <laughs> it's like just like a different form of execution. If you were a flower, Yuriko, um, that's hard. You'd be a straight and beautiful flower. <laughs> Compliments. Alright, I'm gonna be right back just to go just going to feed the cats. I cannot believe how many like relationship stuff has been like I I've been streaming for three and a half hours and I've barely done like any story. It's just all been relationship stuff. Where's my shelf again? This one, right? The one with the Baki? I think? Because there's no one else in here that likes Baki as much as Yuito does, so... I get the feeling that they were joint missions. If I talked to uh, Kagero, it would have been the same story. It doesn't bother me at all. But, yeah. It's not so bad to stop joking around and be serious with you sometimes. I was thinking the same thing. Tell me about yourself. Okay, sure. Let's give talking with no jokes a shot. That's his. And here's the picture. And then the, the gift. I'm really upset. Why are there so many bottles of pop on the... What happened? What has Arashi been doing? Alright, who's this one going to involve? They've all been involving two people, Yuito, so... Do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to tell you regarding a member of our group. Did something happen? Recently, traces of someone attempting to illegally access my personal information from the OSF database was found. Personal information? Is someone trying to find out about your past? No, that doesn't appear to be the case. There were no traces of them attempting to find out classified information. The culprit tried to view my training data and daily life records. Fortunately, they failed to do so. I see. But that is pretty disturbing. You think one of us did it? Yes, unfortunately. She didn't? I was about to go give him a warning. Will you join me? I'm sure he would feel more comfortable to have a third party there. I'm assuming it's sure. Shiden because he just wants to train. Because well. it's either Shiden or Hanabi. Or is it Arashi? Shiden. The outline kind of. What? You're saying I illegally accessed Yeah, the outline gave it away. <laughs> Don't you mean I attempted to access it? Whether you succeeded or not, trying to look at someone's personal information without their permission is wrong, Shiden. So it was you, Shiden. Why did you want to see Luca's data? 
so I could analyze the Septentrion's power and compare it to mine. Then I'll be able to find out where I fall short. Hmm? When we went to look at the lightning the other day, weren't you saying that you didn't need to compare yourself to them? Yeah, but I wasn't trying to say that comparing yourself was bad. It can help you improve. I suppose I understand where you're coming from. Although your methods could use some polishing. Right? <laughs> it's only natural to compare yourself if you have a Septentrion so close. There's no better person you can use to gauge your strength. No better person? Then why didn't you ask me directly? We're not really close enough to be asking those kind of questions. Besides, there was too much information I wanted to know for a conversation. I wanted to find out everything. From your daily training routine <laughs> to your breakfast. That sounds like almost obsessive, Does though. knowing what he eats really help? Uh. Actually, aren't you a Septentrion fan, Sheedan? That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Being healthy is important in combat. I see. Then I have a proposal. If you wish to measure your abilities to that extent, why won't you challenge me head on instead? What? Challenge you? Yes. I noticed that there was an active other forecast in Mizuhagawa at this moment. As suppressing others is a team activity, we can't exactly compete to see who suppresses the most. We can try using Arashi's program that quantifies each member's contributions during battle. What do you say? Okay. You're on. It's a good opportunity to test my skills against the Septentrion. You're using a suppression mission to compete against each other? It seems a little unwise to use a life or death battle for a competition. You don't have to come. I wouldn't want you getting in the way. I won't get in the way. I would be helping on the mission whether or not there was a competition. I just get the feeling that the Hanabi one's either going to be a solo or it has to involve either Kasane or Arashi just with how this is going. between us while I'm challenging him. Well, now I can't back down. But Arashi doesn't have any ink, have any uh, relationship perks. I was hoping I'd get everyone access to Crush. But Hanabi's after this. But Arashi's the only one that won't have Crush. I'm the one who proposed this competition. Or EX Crush. Distracted by it. Our first priority is suppressing the others. We already know that. It's my time to show what I can do. Let's do this. Shiden, you're already getting distracted. Maybe you should relax a bit. Who do you think you are? Maybe you're too relaxed. You should both be directing that energy towards the others. Or else you'll have no hope of defeating me. Fine. I'm not holding back. Try to keep up, Yuito. Looks like there's a resource reading. Get stunned! You won't be able to move if you're electrified. You're on! I trust 
messy with it. Let's turn this out. And you're dead. I'm sealed. In. I'll leave it to you. You're dead! Oops, alt tabbed. I'm full on taking advantage of the water in the area. You're dead. That was brilliant. Leave the rest to me. Come on. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. I'll handle this. Well done. This seems the enemy. Get crushed. And you're dead. The guy used to use the uh, action attacks and stuff a lot more, but it kind of became moot once I could activate more SAS, because the whole point was when I could only use one at a time... It got, um... You know, I didn't really have any other need for the gauges, so I used them... I would always kept the most active one in use, and then would just action skill the rest, but...
Oh, I had enough in it just to get the hit in. of energy. You're dead. And we'll finish up the last guy with Kasane's psycho field. Psychokinetic field. Oh my god! Oh! I had to cringe when the slow motion kicked in and it showed how much he was getting pelted. Why bother asking? It's clear we both lost. He stomped us. It seems that way. I was in first place and the two of you tied for second. Damn. Damn it. Still no match for you. We have a long way to go to reach the Septentrions. I don't think that has anything to do with it. I imagine you two he's just he's just been physically training so his body can handle the exhaustion better you might be saying that to be modest but i'll surpass you one day just you wait <laughs> i look forward to it thank you very much for today shiden what why are you thanking me are you trying to rub it in my face no i am thanking you for helping me with my experiment experiment so, you did have another aim. I didn't think it was like you to challenge him with a suppression mission. You saw right through me. I've always built up walls around myself. I wanted to see if I could first break down the wall between Sheedan and me, so I can change my personality. That's why you challenged me? Why me? We don't really talk. That's precisely why, though. Yes, you and I have opposite personalities. And honestly, we're not the most compatible. But I thought that because of those reasons, interacting with you would break me out of my shell. In other words, you were just the right person for me as well. So you used me. Huh. I can't say I'm happy about that. Yes, that's admittedly what I did. I apologize for not telling you. But this all started when you tried to look at Luca's data, Sheeden. Now you're even. Uh, yeah, but that was so I could improve. Shiden, it seems like you've been hiding something. Why don't you just come out with it, like him? He told you the truth. Okay, I'll confess. I just wanted more data on the Septentrions. Data on the Septentrions? Yeah. I've always admired them. I wanted to gather all the information I could. So, you just wanted to find out all the details on the Septentrions as a fan. I wanted to complete my own database. I didn't have the courage to ask him directly. I'm honored to be someone you admire, but we're equal as allies. I know, but I've been chasing you for years. It's hard to just flip the switch. I know where you're coming from. I 
was honestly thrown at the beginning to be teammates with the famous Luca Travers. <laughs> you have no idea where I'm coming from. I've been a fan much longer. I see. <laughs> Seems I was not the only one to build up a wall. Yeah. Maybe I thought it was hard to get close to you, but that's changed a little after you told me your side of things. If you're worried about something stupid like your personality, then you're not some untouchable god like I thought. <laughs> of course. The Septentrions are human too. It looks like the two of you were able to bring your walls down a little. You both got what you wanted. Don't act like you had nothing to do with it. It was because of you that I wished to change myself. So it's your fault. It never stops with you. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess? Sheedan, as a sign of our growing friendship, I will send you my training regimen. So this is a Septentrion's regimen? This is amazing! If there is anything else you would like to know, I'll happily answer what I can. I prefer that over you trying to find out behind my back. Right, okay. Then I've got a question already. What's the point of this training? Uh, there's no medical evidence of it, but some say it will help you grow taller. I see. Let me write that down. This is a really thorough training regimen. You understand. Your muscles will only grow as much as you train. I would be interested in seeing your training regimen as well. <laughs> you guys seem to be vibing just fine. You said you two had opposite personalities, but maybe that's everyone not has true. one thing they can get on the that's same page about. Setting the here. I consider myself rather amicable. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <sighs> you guys will be just fine. <laughs> Yuito, uh, can we talk? I think it's time for our routine. Yeah, sure. You mean our strategy meeting? Yes. About what we can do to change the world. That's okay. I think talking like this is meaningful. And that's true. Alright, what's his crush? It's just a teleport strike. I thought my... Because I'm pretty sure I don't have Arashi's. Yeah, I don't have it. And then Sheedan will just be quick dialogue. Okay, Sheedan. You look kind of. Eh, I guess I am a little tired. What? What's too. <laughs> that should do. This might be what it's like when you get that soothing feeling looking at. <laughs> His is just going to be like electrical smiting, right? Yeah, pretty much. Doesn't look as cool as I would have liked it, though. <laughs> look, it's not like I had to picture for any particular reason. I'll just send you a copy. <laughs> So Hanabi is the only one left with a bond mission. I'm a little upset though because Arashi doesn't have one. She's my favorite character and I want her EX crush. Hey, Yuito. Want to take a walk around Suo with me? Okay. I was just looking to blow off some steam. Great. Let's go then. I mean, I wouldn't say we've reached peace yet, but it's still relaxing to walk around this city. Yeah, I really like Suo. It calms me down when I'm stressed. Me too. I hope we can truly attain peace one day. In our next story, new information has been uncovered regarding the inhumane experiments conducted at the OSF hospital. 
upset news. OSF Hospital Chairman Yanagi Ichijo has denied any involvement. But among the leaked data provided by a whistleblower included documents signed by Mr. Ichijo himself. It's unlikely that the 10 members implicated in these accusations, including Mr. Ichijo, will be able to avoid any fallout. Seems like the researcher we saved came through. Yeah. The Ichijo family name could be ruined now, but that's better than thriving through evil deeds. How is your family doing? Have your parents experienced any blowback? No. I contacted them, but they really didn't know anything about it. They were actually worried for me that the OSF might try something. I'm glad they're okay. Yeah. I'm so relieved, because... For a second, I was worried they could be involved. Maybe I'll go visit them soon. <laughs> what was that sound? It sounded like a crash. Let's go check it out. Over there! An accident! Traffic accident? That's unusual. Excuse me, do you know what happened here? It seems like the car's auto drive program malfunctioned. The rescue team hasn't shown up yet. Are you with the OSF? I guess that means you can't really do anything. Let's get a closer look. Yeah, there might be something we can do. Help! My son is in one of the cars! He's still trapped inside! There's smoke coming from the engine. The kid could be in danger unless we get him out. We don't have time to wait for the rescue team. Let's do what we can. Help! Just hold on a little longer for us. Yuito, just rip off the door! <laughs> it's locked. Can you remove the door with your psychokinesis? I could, but I might accidentally hurt the kid if I try to force it open. If only there was a way we could open it more gently. Okay, I'll try then. What are you going to do? I'm going to use my pyrokinesis to see if I can melt one of the parts inside of the door. That should make it come off easier. Okay, do it. Am I going to die? Don't worry. We're going to save you. Trust me. Can you back away from the door for me? Okay. <sighs> Yuito, you're up. Got it. Here we go. <clears throat> Good job. Your mom is waiting for you. Mom! Thank you so much. I really can't thank you enough. Please, you don't need to thank us. I'm glad your son is safe. Um, thank you for saving me. Hey, I saw what happened. The OSF sure is amazing. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Scarlet Guardians. What? What? When did this crowd gather? Everyone, please step back. It's still dangerous. The rescue team just arrived. I think we can leave the rest to them. As much as I want to see this through to the end, we should leave before the crow show up and get in the way. Whew. You were really cool. You acted <laughs> so decisively, even when that was our first Is she going to blush? Accident. <laughs> what? No, I didn't. I was just desperately trying to save that boy. Well, I still think that's cool. Thanks. I think I figured out what I want to do. You finally got your answer? Yeah. I had an idea, but today really solidified it. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I, it in, hers involves Arashi, but it's waiting for me to do her solo one first before it unlocks Arashi's. And I want to protect all of them. I don't want any of them to suffer. Because I did several of the individual ones before I did the team one, but I never talked to Hanabi. That's why I want to change the OSF first, so that what my uncle did will never happen again. I mean, they call us the Scarlet Guardians. We need to live up to our name. Guardians? Just like you were back there. T don't tease. But you might be right. Protecting people doesn't just mean fighting. I mean, 
Even if we get rid of all the others in the world someday, accidents like that will still happen. Get rid of them all? I never thought that far ahead before, but you're right. In other words, our fighting ends when we defeat all our enemies. But protecting people is a job that will never end. Wow. I'm so impressed that you'd think so far ahead. I'm proud to be your childhood friend. <laughs> I mean, it might be a big endeavor, but I plan to start little by little. Besides, I only started thinking about these kinds of things because of you. I didn't have any ideals up until now. Seeing you run ahead, I wanted to catch up and run beside you. Then I finally found the path I was looking for. What? I never thought for a second I was running ahead of you. Since I came in as a volunteer soldier, I've always been frantically trying to catch up to you. <laughs> then I guess we both helped each other grow. Let's go with that. Both of us will keep moving forward. Yes. This is the all-important first step, after all. Yuito? Huh? What is it? There's... Something I want to tell you when I feel like I finally caught up to you. <laughs> What's that? It's a secret until the time comes. <laughs> a secret? I don't really understand. But okay. I'll wait. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm going on ahead. <laughs> hey, wait up! He's already gone. <laughs> so Hanabi. <laughs> yep. There's this together. Hmm. What's wrong, Hanabi? You seem super tired. Crows chased me around town. They're so persistent. That's terrible. Sorry to hear that. Was it about your family? Probably. I mean, it has to be. Seems like they're saying whatever they want on the news. What's wrong with them? Don't they know what state the country is in? Yeah. They're a big problem. And I hate how the crows get in the way of our battles sometimes, too. Now, now, young ones, <laughs> while I know where you're coming from... <laughs> Arushi, I didn't know you were... <laughs> like the wings, the wings in the way again. I sure was. I was resting on the sofa, lost in thought. So, you were slacking off. Perhaps it's time you learn how to deal with the media a little more elegantly, like me. I doubt you two will be able to avoid being chased around by the crows for the rest of your lives. And you're photogenic enough for the media, Hanabi. The OSF might use you for PR. Me? No way. You too, Yuito. The media is currently obsessed with you. Instead of running away, you should face them head on. Head on? Just take on the appropriate attitude, and you'll be able to save yourself a lot of trouble with some good evasion. I'll teach you my tricks. <laughs> I can't remember the last time you gave helpful advice. <laughs> yeah, but she might have a good point. <laughs> yeah, being confident in front of the camera will give you courage, and that might be useful somehow. Do you want to give it a try, Hanabi? It's kind of embarrassing, but I'll give it my best since it might help the OSF in the end. All right, we await your guidance, Arashi. Thank you. Very good. The most important thing is to smile. I'll show you how it's done. Please support the OSF! <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> wow, you turned it on just like that. It's like you're a different person. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. <laughs> this is great. Support the OSF. <laughs> Why are you so robotic? <laughs> Absolutely terrible. You're next, Hanabi. Please support the OSF. Why are you bowing your head at the end? We can't see your face. 
It looks like this will take more work Rashi's a spirit animal. <laughs> That's the spirit. So let's move to the next level. We're changing locations. What are we doing in such a desolate place? The other forecast was high in Kikuchiba today. Wait. You're trying to draw at the crows? You got it. We're training while fighting the others. It's all too common that we suddenly get filmed during combat. So, we have to keep smiling while we fight? Isn't that weird? Taking out others with a smile? Not at all. By smiling, you are demonstrating your confidence, which showcases the OSF strength. It's important. Is that right? They're here. Let's have them help us train today. All right. If we're doing this, I'll give it my all. Yeah. And Please. after this, I can finally get on with the story. I'm this late into the game, uh, Wataru, you don't need to tell me they're spraying things like oil. You two. You've got potential, Hanabi. You were great, Hanabi. I'm impressed with what you did with such an absurd training exercise. <laughs> Thanks. I'm always glad to receive a compliment. I see, I see. So you're that kind of girl. <laughs> what do you mean by that? The 
smile you showed us just now was better than any I got by instructing you. You might be better off acting like yourself in the end. Sorry, when I got dragged out there, they told me not to be myself. So you took on the character you do now. Yeah, I got popular just copying some random game character I knew. Unfortunately, I did such a good job imitating them that I'm stuck playing them now. I see. But I'm changing my view. There's no need for my successors to go through the same hardships as me. Hanabi, you're an honest person who can't tell a lie. You should capitalize on that. Wait, were you just making fun of me? <laughs> what are you talking about? That was a great compliment. I never want you to forget that carefree smile. Y yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> In any case, ah, the wings. So helpful today. Well, I have a lot on my mind. It makes things easier for me. Easier? You might find your seniors' words to be annoying, but we have knowledge and experience we can share. I just thought to tell you what I can. While I can. Please stop, Arashi. Don't make it sound like you're going to die. We finally became friends, but now you're making me worried. What? You didn't get along before? Oh no, it's not that. It's just... I don't know. Hmm, I see. You're sharp, Hanabi. I'm impressed. You noticed I was avoiding you. What? Why? It's probably because of what happened with Aunt Alice. Yeah, it's strange. I know you're not the same person, but I can't help but make comparisons. But you are not, Alice. Teaching you today made that clear. That's why you decided to put in some effort today out of the blue. It was your way of showing some concession. Yeah. Besides, I learned from the forced break program the other day that some amount of meddling is effective. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure it wasn't easy for you. Hey, it's not as if there wasn't something in it for me. If you start doing PR, that means I'll have more free time. <laughs> what? I thought that might be it. <laughs> I put in a little effort now to save you some later. <laughs> uh, that's so like you, Arashi. <laughs> totally. But. I think you helped me prepare myself mentally. Just like you were able to face me, I need to be able to do the same with the world. I can't change the OSF if I keep running away from my fears. If I'm going to change anything, sometimes I need to face them head on and get over them. You got through some pretty tough training today. I know you can do it. Thank you, Yuito. You guys are so earnest, it's blinding. <laughs> <laughs> that was fine. You really might be able to change things. Now, sorry to say this when things are being wrapped up so nicely, but half of what I taught you was nonsense. What? What, what do you mean nonsense? <laughs> oh, what a wonderful reaction. <laughs> you are so earnest. It makes teasing, I mean, training all the more interesting. <laughs> God, I love a rush. <laughs> oh, are those bags under your eyes, Yuito? <sighs> yeah. What you said made sense, so I tried completely slacking off. I wanted to get a bunch of stuff done before that, and by the time I realized, it was morning. Oh boy. You have your act together, but something's always missing. You still need a lot of work before you can be perfectly lazy. It's good you want to try, though. I will continue to act as your instructor. <laughs> I just can't... Is there something on my face? Oh, sorry. 
What does that mean? Oh, so maybe my face got more toned along with my arms. It, it's embarrassing, so don't stare so much. Okay, hers looks really cool. You pop your hour full size in. Alright, let's get my party resituated. Right, I think that's actually everyone now. So let me save, and we can actually move on with the- Oh my god, that felt like it took forever. You can- I can see why they made several- They made- Literally four of the missions have to double up on characters just because of the length of time that took. Just imagine if I had to do every character individually. What's she looking at? Oh, is she holding her Baki? She's holding her Baki. She took it down from the shelf and she's holding it. <laughs> That's so cute. And she's looking around like no no one's noticing or looking at it. <laughs> I really wish when you talk to them while they were doing stuff, they would say something unique to it. Because that'd be kind of funny to see her get caught on. And I'm assuming there's a lot of people in here. I have some like really favorite ones. Like that one's good. Um, I really like, like, the the idea of Kyoka giving herself a massage. Arashi on the couch. Generally, I just like Arashi's, like, anyone, like, Arashi has soda on the table in here, too. <laughs> but just, like, look at her posture. Like, that is so me. God, she's great. <laughs> Alright, talk to the coffee table, let's go. finally heard from Major General Fubuki. He asked us to head to Sumeragi Tomb right away. Apparently, the Chief will be there. Kaito. Actually, what's my brother's status now? He's still the acting Chief, but most of his authority has been transferred and no one has seen much of him lately. My guess is that the government is going to make him take the fall for everything and abandon him. The chief might have decided to help us because he knows that's what they're going to do. As long as he helps us, it's fine. Now let's head to Sumeragi Tomb. Kaito. So you finally made it. You want inside the Sumeragi tomb, correct? Right. In order to close the Kunad gate, there's something we need to check inside the tomb. If Karin really is inside, then he is the key to closing it. If, huh? Not only is everything circumstantial, it doesn't sound very credible either. Is this really what you choose to stake everything on? Very well. If you do indeed manage to save the world, it will reflect quite nicely on the Sumeragi name. Is that all that matters? Hanabi, it doesn't matter what he says, as long as he helps us. I've disabled the security for the entrance. Close the Kunad gate. I heard you stopped Togetsu's plan. You managed to avenge her. You did what I had set out to do. So, you knew about Mom's death? Dad and I. 
We vowed that we'd destroy Togetsu one day. This isn't what I imagined. But it looks like Dad and I got our wish. Kaito. Go. Do what you need to do. This is the path you've chosen. He's such an interest. Kaito's actually a really great character. Like, he wants to stick with what the government... The, he has his family... His his family's history plan, that what the government wants to accomplish, and his own personal endeavors against Togetsu. And he's, he's, he's like, actually tried to work towards them all in a way. Makes him a very complicated character, but he's really nicely written. And the voice actor does a great job, too. Like, he shows that he still cares for Yuito as a brother, even when their opinions and differences uh, change. So this is what it's like inside Sumeragi tomb. I thought it'd be gloomier since it's a tomb. Yakumo's got a good thing going here. We need to go down. Those stairs go all the way down. I don't think there's any danger to worry about. Let's take them. I don't see any other way down. That was actually also... Major General Fubuki said he'd join you too. Should we go meet him? No, he said he can't head there right away, so he'll meet up with you later. That was... That. We'll go on ahead then. So the way, I've always appreciated the way it transitions from cutscene into gameplay. But if you'll notice, I just noticed this now, but it, it affected my party members too. The whole group was standing there, and the two party members I had active stayed from where they were in the cutscene. That is actually really crafty. Um, uh, game design. What? How is this my fault? I mean, it's your family's tomb, right? Install an elevator at the very least. Sheesh. <laughs> Good job. Pretty sure you've reached the bottom floor. Oh, we finally made it. Looks like there's only a single path from here. There's a big space up ahead. That's probably where Yakumo is sleeping. I guess we just need to move forward. I was worried it might be a maze in here to prevent grave robbing. Stay on your toes. Just because nothing's happened so far doesn't mean that it... I just felt something in my brain. What? I didn't feel anything. What's going on? What's happening? Signal is deteriorating. Wataru. Damn. We lost the transmission. Where are we? Is this Suo's OSF headquarters? How did we get here all of a sudden? Oh, maybe there was some sort of teleportation trap. Just calm down and take a better look around you. Something doesn't seem quite right. The city looks a little off. This feeling. I remember it from before. Are we inside a brain field? That is certainly a possibility. Since I felt something interfere with my brain, this could be a measure to confuse intruders. Or... Others! This is what happened when we went to the Kronos Terminal. Get ready to fight. You're dead. Attack 
You're dead. Let's go, Arashi! Seems like we managed to kill all the others around here, but our situation hasn't improved much. We haven't been able to reach Haruko or Wataru either. We should... huh? Karin? As of today, Alice Ichijo is now an official member. Congratulations, Alice. The three of us are together again. It also seems like we have a mission for our new platoon. I'm going to show you two who the real star member is. I just hope the new the same voice actress is Hanabi. Make her do something reckless. The Sinson is oh, cutesy. Really? You know, just I've sounds more mature. Somebody got written up for disobeying orders. Fubuki. <laughs> I mean, that was your 50th write up. That's quite the milestone. How could I not share it? They say you're a shoe in for Septentrion, Karin, but I guess you've got some issues with your superiors. I don't intend to follow orders I don't agree with. <laughs> That's so like you. Oh. I guess that just means you'll have to climb to the top of the OSF. Sounds like too much trouble. I'm not interested in looking after people weaker than me. Fubuki can do all that instead. <laughs> you say that, but you always look after your friends in the end. You're usually more helpful than I am. I think you're more suited to run things than me. Actually, I bet you're really gunning for the position. Stop trying to hide it. <laughs> You've been gunning for the top position from the very beginning. Listen to the two of you. Honestly, just take the top two positions and you're all set. That's a good idea. If we take the current organization and break them into regiments... Ooh. <laughs> Stop with the creepy laugh. <laughs> don't worry, I don't do it in front of anyone else. You'd do so much better in life if you just learned how to have an outside persona. Not having a facade is one of Karn's better qualities. Although, it wouldn't hurt you to learn to have one, so you wouldn't get written up so much. <laughs> what did we just see? Major General Fubuki. And Karin, right? And Aunt Alice? Oh, right. She was your aunt. The three of them were childhood friends. That brought back some memories. Funny, I had forgotten the color of Karin's hair back then. Now it's completely different from Luca's. That's right. It's a pretty rare phenomenon. So it may have something to do with my brother's powers. That looked like it was from when Alice first entered the Force. That would make it over 20 years ago. If this was a brain field, then I guess it would make sense for it to be affected by someone's memories or emotions. I'm not entirely sure what that was. But first we should figure out how to get out of here. Staying here won't help. Let's see what's up ahead. I can't get a read in this space. All I can sense is that it's really fast. There's some familiar scenery mixed in, too. The connection is so chaotic. Looks like that's the way this space works. This area must be connected to some other location as well. No need to ask. Let's turn this in our favor. Shell is broken. Give it everything you have. Got this. 
There we go. Let's throw the duplications. this one that's a grin yawn so i'm assuming it's the one with its mouth see this is what i don't like the lock on is on the body but the weak point is on the mouth which makes it very very hard to take effectively take advantage of the weak point with the way the lock-on works. I'd say that's one of the few critiques I have with this game. It's just that the lock-on gets up. That's why I hate that other enemy I mentioned where it has shelled weak point on front, back, and body. But the lock-on specifically only targets the body. Um... But, because of the... But, you can hit the front and back through angling. Such as, like, if you throw stuff... Uh, when, uh... The direction the stuff is being thrown from comes from the front. How the hell is this dude here? I kind of really wish... Saving wasn't this dude on a... On, a, on like, a motor scooter. Like, hurt, like... You know what would have worked? Something similar to Final Fantasy XIII's. I've mentioned this before. But, like, I just feel like this... It Like, this seems so out of place. There we go. You're dead. Now, uh, duplication's down, so... Dude's here again? Alright, I'm gonna hit the shop. I just want to make sure I'm all stocked up and stuff. Now I'll save.
the mother truck! I I messed that up. I should have said hit him like a truck. Wait. Well, this is not it. There's there's more coming. Dead. One more. Burn. This is. Oh no! It's a. It, it just looked different while it was on the gr the ground. Is that? The, no, it's the back one. And you're dead. There's an enemy down that side path, but I don't really care. This is the way to go. This one's stronger than the rest. Fall back and regroup. Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for saving me. Keep your guard up, idiot. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> How many times have you saved me now? Nobody's counting. Are you two okay? Good. Looks like you're all right. <laughs> yeah, this idiot just messed up again. I handled it. There's the tough act again. 
You need to take better care of yourself. You're hurt. What? I'm sorry. You got hurt because of me. Let me take a look. <sighs> it's just a scratch. Alice is tired. Stay with her, Fabuki. I'm gonna check on the remaining teams. We'll need to regroup the platoon if we're gonna kill that other. Hey, Karin! <sighs> More memories. It's gone. But that one also had to do with Karin. This field. Maybe it's something he generated. To prevent anyone from getting close to where he's sleeping? No. Even if that were the case, why show us these memories? I think he would rather keep them secret. It's the red strings. My brother doesn't talk about himself much. Nor does he like to. The memories are probably mixed in subconsciously. When is this one? It's the back one again. You got this. Looks like the enemy lost us. Thank you. I need your eyes. Leave it to me. One down. Leave it to me. Go for me. Thanks. I feel so much better. I'm using this RG. Let's focus. Well done. Come on. Finish it. We'll protect you. You got this. Psychokinetic field. Stop it. Stop it. There's going to be more than that, though. You can tell by the size of the arena what you're going to be expected to fight. Yeah, so if I'm not talking too much while in combat, it's because I'm trying to focus on just laying down the pressure.
they already mentioned it in the story like i know i they had to have because i've not looked up story on this game but alice got turned into an other Nick, that was mentioned. Oh god. Oh my god, this is this is the dream team combo. And that's that. Hi. All of these require teleportation or speed. I'm just gonna bully him. Yo, did I just hit level 60? Oh my god. I got a lot of points to spend. I'll buy that. I'm aiming for the, uh, oh, the other one is there. For some reason, I thought it was down here. Oh, well, the... oh, one more level up and I can get it. And then, uh, brain field, I'll take, I'll take no damage. Oh, wow, that was good. Oh, wait. That's what the, the C one was, the crush, the group crush thing. For some reason, I keep thinking it's shift, and I'm like, oh, I'll just use it after I crush the enemy. I'm just, I'm not used to the mechanic. So I'm at the point in the game where I feel like, it, just in case, I should double check my inventory to make sure I per I recap up on all items. Mm. 
I'd really rather not waste a Rashi Saskage on, uh... This floor is difficult to maneuver. Right, especially since... Here you go. You need it for these guys. Can you not? Oh my god. So he's down now. I alt-tabbed out of the game, which also didn't help. I'm getting, I get, I still get super annoyed with the, with the way this game handles auto targeting. And the fact that I have to hold tab and then use the mouse wheel rather than just pressing tab, like a lot of games do. A lot of games, you can just simply press tab, and it changes the. Uh, In a lot of games, you can simply just press tab, and uh, it auto-changes to another target. But this one, I actually have the mouse wheel, and like it just feels so clunky. You're not resisting this. Crush you. I'm using this, Arashi. She didn't leave it to me. Oh, go to hell. It's not over yet. We need to regroup. I'll buy you a soda later. That attack worked. That must be a weak spot. I can hit it. The enemy is going to try and ambush us. Let's go invisible. I'll lend you my strength. Let's do this, Kadaro. It's not over yet. Let's regroup. There we go. I'm so done with the speed with the speed enemies. That's the burst. Fire, uh, pyrokinesis, uh, uh, hyper velocity, 
duplication and uh and stealth. I did use a uh, few items here. Doesn't seem like we're any closer. Just look at the size of this place. How are they generating something so huge? This brain field feels much larger than what a single psionic should be able to generate. Huh? What is that? Another. Is that the other that Alice turned into? No, this is the other they were they were fighting in that scene. served well. Can you not? Oh, fucking course I need teleportation. Fuck you, game. It's almost like they knew no one would run it. Can you just stop with the fucking fire hose?
You can stay dead. I will as soon as I get rid of teleportation. It's on fire! That, that one was way easier because it didn't have the fire hose bullshit or the shield bullshit. Oh my god, Sheedan, you're a godsend. You are the hero of the fight. <laughs> I imagine it also works in co like it's helping in combination with uh Such a weird creature. Oh god, no. My only goal right now is to just try to paralyze it. I'm gonna have to change to change teleport back, huh? I think I'll get rid of clairvoyance then, because I'm not really using that for this fight.
There we go. There we go. Oh, back to back. Let's go. Oh, and the stuns bring it to a close. Like, almost, anyways. Are you kidding me? God damn it! Die! Get out of my life! This is not a streamlined fight, I just want to point that out. Having to go into the menu to change my abilities around? Not a streamlined fight. Just want to point that out. Now can you... Leave my life... Forever. Seems like we finally got it. Do you think it's just a coincidence that the other we saw from his memory appeared? I heard that being inside a brain field for a long period of time will eventually manifest your emotions and memories. That makes sense if Karin is the one who made this field. That memory where he protected Alice must be affecting things. Then staying here any longer could be dangerous. Yes, we should hurry. It seems like the field goes on further ahead. Oh my god, that was such an annoying fight. It didn't help, like I said, that the game kept forcing me to change around what I was using. I can't imagine the the enemy design in this game though. If I did not level. I absolutely burned through items in that fight.
If I beat it today, I'm going to relabel the or if I'm probably am like this is the final dungeon of the game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, when I beat this game today, I'm going to relabel the title Yuito's Finale. Or, like, Finale Yuito or whatever. And from there, I will probably move on and maybe come back for Kasane's story. I did not use anything, so I'm just going to save. Oh no. And we'll get caught. Okay, well. Can we not and say we did? Some of these enemies, like base paw for base paws, for example, are like really easy to take out. Can you not? Um, but if you don't have the appropriate power available, then you're just basically sitting around until things work work your way. I'm starting to, like, I feel like Hanabi's power is best for DPS, but Shiden's power is absolutely the best for just, for, uh, for potential DPS, but also just, in a way, support, because, like, you saw in those boss fights, like, I was just, like, stunning them back to back to back to back. And, like, the biggest burst on the final phase of that boss fight was done because Shiden got a double stun.
Yo, a threefer. He's gonna blow up. Oh my god! Worst enemy in the game. I think hands down. You saw me have to do that side quest involving them. That was just hell on earth. The fact that I even had to postpone the side quest because I didn't have the cap the attributes or capabilities capable of taking them down. They would just explode. We need to oh my god, can the fight end? Oh my god. Throw me 17 more enemies while you're at it, please. I think, if anything, the reason why I don't want to do Kasane's story right now is this. I would just want to know the story. I would just want to know the story, and it's moments like this where they really drag the hell out of the fight the fights is where I don't is what I don't like like that's the thing to me it's like if I'm in a game and I feel like I want to run past the enemies I feel like I should have the right to do that I don't feel like unless it's like actually story scripted um, there should really be no reason to force fights half the time. Like boss fights, for example, sure. And I can understand boss gauntlet fights, for example, too. Like, you know, like you get to the end of the rope and then there's just waves of waves of enemies. That's fine, too. But not when I'm just trying to head to the next location. I've decided that when I use C, uh, when I use Brain Crush, I'm just going to instantly follow it with another... I'm just going to spam C, and then if someone else is available like that, it's just going to trigger. This guy is weak to the double the to this combo here. Dead. Hope they don't force teleport on me again. I can't imagine that giant other would appear here too. Here we go. We'll do this together. This other crazy dummy. You will need to attack the real one, so observe carefully. Leave it to me! Yeah. Don't 
Oh, and we we did we clear the room or is there one guy left? Yep, there's one guy left. Is it a yawn? That's a vine. Which means his his thing will only appear. Yeah, it's the tail, so it's only when he's like stunned. But see, the the target point is his body, but his weak point is his tail. I can't attack his tail for the life of me because it's it's locking me in to his body. Oh, I leveled up. So with this, I now take when I have brain field active. I now I now take um, no damage. Which is good because brain field is very clunky. Nope, we're here now. This is the water one. Nope, this is the duplication one. Not even the first one I attacked! And it's already locking me onto the smoke screen one. I am so done with the. Is that an option I can turn off? Toggle prioritization of targeting enemy over movement. That is going off. I don't mind the auto lock on. Don't get me wrong. Hello. Is how, how do you is, is this supposed to be like Toa? Or Roa? So, at least... Yes. So this should make it now that I can... Oh my god, it's still awful. Like, what was the point of making that change? Oh, that's just aim assist, I guess. That's That has nothing to do with... Melee, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Kill them all. Now, can I actually kill the enemy that I was originally attacking in the first place before the game thought I didn't need to attack this guy? Kill the yawn here. He does not like the ultimate combo. And he's dead. Over here. Um, 
Yeah, I, I can't really type in chat while playing this game, so I might not be something I'm going to be doing. Sorry. I know I'm going to need to keep this. You can do it. Where am I going now? Changes power now. Thank you. Sorry about that, but thanks for stopping by nonetheless. Adios. Apparently, the extinction belt has dropped near the surface. This has never happened before. With all these others around? This is turning out to be a tough mission. What? <gasps> what? The other particles. morphed into another after coming into contact with the extinction belt i had no idea the extinction belt could drop that low and close to the surface i've heard that it's a rare occurrence i've never seen it drop that low myself hey notice anything about that other yes she was one of the ones who helped us fight alongside naomi i see so that other really was her did you guys meet aunt alice I think she's supposed to be in Ceylon's laboratory. We just figured it out now ourselves. Alice has already passed away. <sighs> if that's true, then Corin used the red strings as soon as he found out about her death. Which means my brother is after... We'll know when we see him. There's no doubt that he's here. I know everyone has a lot of questions, but don't forget what we came here to do. We're here to get his help. That, or it could be like the Yuito situation where they believe that killing him is the solution. drive Go! the outer shell i think i can break it if i focus my attacks now you are telling me
I'm curious about the light bulb concept though, like how that came up in game development. Like, did they decide that are the light bulbs supposed to be heart, brain, what? And who who came up with the idea that light bulbs? Like I know you could argue it's a bright idea, and we could have that joke and all and everything, but you know I'm just you know it's just. I'm just curious. There's more than that. Stop with the targeting! I want to hit the fucking machine! Oh my god! The camera when target when you're locked on is fucking awful. I don't, didn't use a single item, so we can keep going here. We're going to the hospital next, right? Yep. I think so. Did level up again. Brain map. If there's a brain field ready, I, or icon displayed, a brain field can be activated without consuming a charge when activated during brain drive. It's a number of throat objects. Let's go with this one. Let's save again, just so I don't have to remember to do that if something happens. This is going to be a longer stream than I thought. I didn't, in all honesty though, in my defense, I did not expect the relationship missions to take up like two or three hours of this of this stream. I knew I was going to have some. I didn't realize it was going to take up that much though. And you're dead. And that's not going to be the end of it. Because of, because you can almost tell by the size of the room.
you're dead. That's good. That works so well. I was ab I was about to switch lineup so I could hit uh Well, next map. So I could hit um I'm tired of my own incompetence. I failed to save her. Again. This history is unnecessary. If Ara Habaki was right, I can just start over from the beginning again. As many times as I need to. Use the red strings for Alice. What was that? It's like Karin's thoughts were inside my head. So him going back in time was to save Alice. What does he mean by as many times as he needs to? And he mentioned something about Ara Habaki. Right. Even if he goes back to change the past, it doesn't necessarily mean Alice will be saved. The future is always uncertain. Once he determines he can't save her, he goes back to the past to change history all over again and repeats the process. So he's going to keep jumping through time until Aunt Alice is saved? Wait, he time-traveled after that, right? But Alice is still dead at this time. He went back to the past, but history hasn't changed. So he failed? I've never seen my brother like that before. Do you think he'll listen to us? Either way, he's our only lead. We have to get him to cooperate. And I think that's why Ara Habaki is uh is the way it is is because uh, or like why ara habaki was listening to his commands was because he did kill uh yakumo and um and he's actually in charge of ara habaki Sorry, I have a really weird itch. Oh no, oh, come on! Go away. Oh, is this the moment when he attacked us? Is it going to go through like what was running through his head when he attacked us? No.
Can you let me target the guy that's the actual threat, please? Die. You can die, you stupid walking four legged tree. I hate it. I hate it so much. Every time I go to hit tab, and this is a steam thing, and this has always been a steam problem I seem to love having. Every time I hit tab, it ends up triggering the stupid steam overlay, which prevents me from hitting shift. Or every time I hit shift, it like, because it's shift tab is how you activate that. But sometimes it activates when I only hit one of the buttons. And every time I go for shift, that happens and I end up missing out on the shift attack. Oh my god, come on! God! Oh, I did it again! Come on! I just want to play the game and not open 17 menus! What is this? What am I doing? Alright. 
aerial dash, another follow up, follow up in air or brain drive stuff. So I'll just go this way. That's going to be a four, so I can't buy it. Is that Karin? Or should we call him Yakumo? He really was here. I guess he woke up from his cold sleep. Wait. Some kind of device is active here. Yakumo, what's going on? You know it's Karin. There are two Karins? Why are you here? What is going on? Yeah, that's what I would like to know. I tried to travel back 2,000 years ago, but was rejected. What? Explain to me why the time travel failed. I helped you back at Arhabaki's secure site. However... You... What are you talking about? Hand over all of the information. Did he just get absorbed? Looks like I was right to worry. That's what happens when you meet yourself. I haven't the slightest clue of what's going on. But does this mean Karin failed to travel to the past? What is this memory? So I do need his power after all. Now, what are you doing in this place? We need your help to close the Kunad Gate. Please, help us. We heard what you were saying. When you traveled 2,000 years in the past, you created an entanglement. The Kunad Gate won't close as long as the entanglement still exists. So we need you to come with us so we can unravel... Tedious. I figured you'd resort to force. I guess even you couldn't maintain the red strings with your power. That's why you needed to copy it again. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. Where did you even learn about the red strings? From Arahabaki. 
or more accurately, my own memory inside it. As you saw. Oh, so it's a paradox. So, so that's what that's what the tank entanglements are. They're paradoxes. How could they incorporate a living human into Arahabaki? Why are you so surprised? Do you know how many brains are living connections to Arahabaki? So it was a biocomputer comprised of brains like Fabe. When our brains were being hacked at Arahabaki's secure site, and there was that weird brain field. It was all done by Yakumo. By you. It seems that way. The version of me that was in cold sleep used Arahabaki to generate that brain field in order to conceal this location. So you were connected to it from here, gathering all kinds of information over the last 2,000 years without anyone even knowing. I understand why you want to time travel, but that'll just create another entanglement. So what? I'll do whatever I have to do in order to time travel again. Karin. So you have no intention of helping us. Just listen, please. I know you have your reasons, and I know there's a whole lot going on between New Himuka and the Moon. But we can't fix anything if the world ends. We need to make things right. We need to create a new future that won't bring about our destruction. This timeline isn't worth saving. I will change the past, and I will make it work this time. I understand that you want to save Alice, but that... I don't need you to understand. You will help me, even if I must break you to obtain your aid! I won't let you get in the way. Oh, so he uses Skeller Kinesis anytime you try to, uh, use stealth. Get up! Thanks. I feel so much better. I'm using this 
Oh my god, come on! God, I hate the ult tab. And is that over? Is that it? Oh, yep. No matter how much you use your power alone, all it takes for us is to use the SAS. We won't let you get away with this so easily. Please, just talk to us, Karin. Shut up! You're all so endlessly annoying! What? Karin? What's going on? I see. Two thousand years. No. Thousands of memories and hopes. <sighs> Nothing more than stepping stones to me. You, this world, and still. Is his powers fading? Because he, he was a dud too, right? Did he turn into another? Just upon the reach of the goal. Then, we can hit Karin. 
This is kind of intense. Like, I guess this is, these are like representations of his memories. I think I'm getting way, getting in way more damage than they probably want you to. Oh no, he moved. Let's go. Is that it? Man, I didn't even have to fight the other two statues. <laughs> like, I just took advantage of, like, my SAS, basically. Arashi slowing down time made this whole thing broken because it massively enhances your, your DPS. Corrin, please do not stand up. You can't take any more. Corin. I won't. I won't let things end here! What is this? Everyone, be careful. Something's... What? Everyone, Kasane, answer me. Damn it, SAS and Brain Talk are both offline. I'm going to save you, Alice. I promise. What's happening at this rate? Here we go. No, calm down. Everyone is probably in the same situation as me, fighting somewhere. I can't let myself get scared now. Even if I'm here alone, everyone's thoughts are connected to me. I'm not alone. 
I won't lose to a soul enemy like you. I'll protect you, Yuito. Guess you can't handle things without me. This is cool. Now, I can only use one of their powers at a time. Because, uh, electrokinesis and... Sorry, something's up with my laptop again. Oh god, my SAS is all screwed up. Don't worry, you only missed, like, the last little bit of the fight, because that's the best thing you want to miss at the end of the game. Fucking... I don't know if it's... Again, I don't know if it's my internet, or if it's OBS, or what. But it pisses me off every time it happens. Thankfully, I caught this one early enough before the cutscene played. Because it just started playing. I will never accept this world. How could I? I refuse to accept it! <laughs> I'm telling you, it really destroys, it really does destroy any sense of being able to enjoy this when this keeps happening. So you miss the cutscene again. So he, Karen tries to steal his powers, he manages to use his psychokinesis, grabs his arm with both hands and kicks him away. Kasane shows up and throws a boulder down, on, like one of the triangle boulders down on him. Shows up, says, I arrived just in time. He thanks her for saving his life again. And that's where we are now. I really wish we could just see that, though. Instead of the game just constantly... Or not the game, sorry. The, whatever connection issue I'm happening, just constantly happening and interrupting this. And then I have to fucking pantomime, vo vocally pantomime what's going on. I mean... It does seem like I'm drawn to you whenever you're in a pinch. Always have been, right? So it seems. I'm trying to get into the emotional space of the finale here. And instead I'm getting angry because the cutscenes... Because the connection keeps interrupting on the cutscenes. Let's do it. I'm never going the to ampules. Next time. Next time I will not fail. It's not just our power. It's all of our powers working as a team. As one. Our bonds give us strength. Courage!
Because they could just use the ampules, turn them into an other, kill them, and then that's game, set, match. Conclusion of millennia. Not like this. If I lose here, it will all have been for nothing. I have but one wish in this world, and it is denied to me. Give up. You fought and lost. We're done here. You don't have to keep doing this, Karin. Yes, I do. I can still... <clears throat> Karin! Out of my way, Fabuki! Please! It's time to stop this. I never knew how much pain you bottled up inside. Listen to me! Please, Karin. You've suffered long enough. I beg of you, put this burden down. Alice would never want you to torture yourself like this. Shut up! His powers stop. Oh, Kabuki got him. Karen, the world is cruel, but you oh, have caught him in a, a hug. way to live within it. This world without Alice, you just have to accept it. You must. We both do. If all, if for her. Please, we need your help. I'll ask you once again. Come to the Kronos Terminal with us and unravel the entanglement. I know the pain of never being able to see a loved one again, so I won't ask you to accept it willingly. But I can't let you have your way. I don't want to destroy the future of this world. You went back to the past repeatedly, since no matter how hard you tried, you didn't get the result you wanted. Think of the people who care about you. End this for their sake. Join us. Help us protect our future. Help us build a better tomorrow. So this is what they mean by... the end. Then... that leaves me with only one choice. So you'll do it? I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> However, are you sure you only want to close the Kunan Gate? You should have already realized its potential, Fabuki. You mean Kaito Sumeragi's plan to have the Kunad Gate consume the Extinction Belt? Oh, I see. We close the Kunad Gate, and at the same time take care of our other problem. But the plan my brother spoke of isn't feasible. I can't move the Extinction Belt with just my power. You mean our Gravikinesis? 
He's right. Even with our combined efforts, we're not strong enough to do that. Use Ara Habaki. If it's a biocomputer, then it might be possible to raise the cap of your powers by connecting your brains through the SAS. It is possible. Ara Habaki has spent centuries running simulations. That shouldn't be a problem. You wanted to eradicate the extinction belt that turned Alice into an other as well. <sighs> Will Yuito and Kasani's brains be able to withstand the extra output from Arahabaki? It's too dangerous. If there's even the slightest chance we can do it, we have to try. If it's theoretically possible, it's worth testing. Then let's get ready. We'll need to pull some strings in order to use Ara Habaki. I'll look after Karin. We should head to the Kunad Gate. Does that make Karin my ancestor? That's an interesting theoretical question, isn't it? Was uh was his was the Sumeragi were they born from Yakumo or were they born from Karin? You're copying our powers, but only because we're letting you. Don't make me regret this, Karin. Don't worry. I'll close the Kunad gate. <laughs> Arahabaki is ready. Karin should be ready too. We're gonna connect through the SAS to help you while operating the link with Arahabaki. Kasane, Yuito, we got this. We'll be supporting the two of you through the SAS as well. Let's all make this a success. This is going to tax all of you. But we need your help. I just know everything is going to work out. We can do it. We've been able to come this far because we've worked together. I've finished connecting our Habaki. All right, let's start. Opening SAS connection to our Habaki. Just focus on the extinction belt. Give it your all. I'll take care of controlling our Habaki. We've been connected to it for 2,000 years now. All right, then. Do it! Karin! We trust you! If you want to save this world, then show me the strength of your resolve! I 
suspension belt is getting sucked into the Kunad gate like we planned. Oh, wow. The extinction belt is fading away. We did it. Thank you, Karin. The extinction belt's no longer a threat. From here, we can go directly to the Kronos terminal. Right. Keep your focus on the red strings. Now. Finally. The last one. <laughs> I'll go to the past and find a timeline where Alice lives. No! You can't! Hold on! I told you to show me the strength of your resolve. This time, I won't claim Yakumo's life. The final entanglement will be eliminated. Karin, but that... You're going... to sacrifice... Your own life. This is it. One last jump through time. No, don't do this! Corin! Corin, I... Is the red strings, but how? Restoring the world. Is it going to revive Nagi and Naomi as well? This was not an ending I was I was expecting. I guess this would probably potentially also eliminate the threat of Togetsu too, wouldn't it? Cuz I never felt like Togetsu ended. no longer seems to exist. Karin. Yeah. That flood of red we saw everywhere, that was the red strings, wasn't it? Which means... <clears throat> By traveling into the past, I wonder if we... changed the world for the better. More than just the Kunad gate closing, you mean? Oh! Sorry about zoning out there, guys. <laughs> Not used to the sky being pretty. Good to go, Haruka? I've been good to go for a while. Hurry up, watch <laughs> <laughs> We saved the world, didn't we? We didn't just prevent the future apocalypse. We eliminated the extinction belt, too. Thanks to Karin, we won. Yeah. 
He made a new future. All of us did. Alice is going to be there, right? I'm going to assume Alice is going to show up with Nagi and Naomi. It's beautiful. I wish you could see it. That actually was a good ending. I teared up a little bit. That was not an ending I was expecting. I'd really say, like I said, the only things I really hated so much about the game was A, I did not like the, um, I did not like the, the, the lock on mechanic. It was, it, you know, having to hold tab and mouse wheel was a bit annoying. I really kind of just wish it was tab to cycle through. I didn't like how lock on was specifically the center mass of the enemy. Even though that's not where the weak points were. Um, and then the other thing I didn't... Um, I didn't really like... like I, I don't know how they would have handled this, but the sass thing. Really not a fan of, you know, nine characters, eight slots. I feel like what they could have simply done is just have Kasane... Like, once Kasane and Yuito are on the same team, it just activates Psycho Field through X. Or, like, X could have just been the, um... They could have had a power that just allows them to com or connect together. And then the other eight would have been on the wheel. On those two... On those wheels. I think that would have been better. Um... And then the... Oh, what was the other thing I said I didn't like? Um... I didn't like Brainfield. Brainfield felt so clunky. Did not like it. I really wish they just got rid of Brainfield and had Brain Drive more predominant as well as controllable. Like it I I hated the idea that you needed an item to activate Brain Drive on your own control. Like that was so dumb. Um there was one other thing I said I didn't like, but beyond that, otherwise I enjoyed the game. Oh yeah, the stretched out battles. The fact that you'd be locked in a fight for like five minutes. I wasn't a big fan of that either. Okay, so this is what we could find out. We'll need to do a more thorough investigation, but most of it coincides with the history we know. But there's... Major General Fubuki, we've received several reports from all areas that the Extinction Belt has dissipated. And the Kunan Gate suddenly disappeared. What in the world happened here? I'll send a detailed report later. First, we need to contact the New Himuka government. Fubuki! You're here too? Alice? What? Why are you so startled? Oh, you're with them too, Hanabi? What? Alice. It's you. Wait. If you're here, then what about... Then what about Karin? I am so unbelievably fucking pissed. I am so fucking pissed. That cutscene that interrupted was... So Alice basically just said that she didn't know who, f who Karen was. Why did it have to interrupt then? Why did the internet have to cut then? 
can't stop. I'm so unbelievably furious. It has happened three times at the end of the game. And it happened twice at the beginning of the stream. I'm so irritated with this. I don't like it. It's pissing me off. So much. It has nothing to do with the game. I don't know what is up with my internet. I don't know whether it's my internet, my connection, OBS, or my VPN. I don't know what the hell is going on. But it is so unbelievably infuriating. Speaking of going to Kunat Highway tomorrow since it's ready, I'd be happy if you'd all join me. Sorry, am I late? Major General Fubuki isn't here yet. Well, let's hang out until everyone gets here. The weather's nice enough. Aunt Alice is really nice. But there are still times I just don't know what to say to her. Oh, my mom and dad left a message. They told me to invite you for dinner. Food tastes better when you eat with friends. <laughs> it's just like when we were little. Oh, I heard you put in your resignation. Yeah, I made up my mind. Once everything calms down and the OSF is back to business as usual, I plan to retire. So it's really true. Well, I'm sure there are so many things you still want to do. Do your best in your new life. I'll do my best in the OSF. I guess... Well, we should both do our best. <laughs> I guess that's a good summary, but you're right. I mean, I feel safe leaving the OSF in your hands, Hanabi. <sighs> really? I'm not good enough to say that you can count on me, and there are so many obstacles I need to overcome. But I'm confident that I won't give up. I know. It's not easy trying to live up to your ideals, but I know you can do it. Thanks. Just watch. I'll prove I can. And I'll be watching you too. Yeah. Oh, uh, didn't you say you had something to tell me? I can't say yet. But be ready, because I will tell you someday. Once I become the person I want to be. What do you mean, be ready? I don't really understand. But I'll be waiting until you say it's time. Can I not talk to Kyoka? There we go. Uito. Chairman Sumeragi, your father. This new history didn't change what happened to him. The sins of Togetsu didn't change either. I plan to atone for assisting them. I hope I can help with the dismantling of Togetsu as well. What are you going to do? I heard you were retiring, but what about after that? Oh, you heard already? Of course. I was the leader of Kyoka Platoon, so I'll hear things amongst the command. Right. For now, I'd like to do some studying. I also have to clean up the scandals around the Sumeragi name. Oh, then I might be able to help you, too. Huh? What do you mean? I also plan on retiring once things calm down. Since I'm testifying to what Togetsu did, it would only cause trouble if I stayed in the OSF. I see. I guess that's what it means to bring what Togetsu did to light. If I leave the OSF, there won't be anything tying me down anymore. 
I think I can also convey the efforts Chairman Sumeragi went through to protect New Himuka. But why? Even if you feel responsible for Togetsu, what my father did... Is Wakana being happy not a good enough reason? My mom? You mean when you were monitoring my mom? Yes. Chairman Sumeragi certainly took part in some inhumane activities. Even if it was allowed politically, he can't be forgiven. But that's not everything Chairman Sumeragi was. He got in the way of Togetsu. He was assassinated because he tried to protect New Himuka from Togetsu. I'm sure of it. The Chairman's merits and demerits should both be made public. That should be detailed in Togetsu's materials. I didn't think anyone would look at it that way. I'm glad. To be honest, I was a little depressed about it. Because some people say the Sumeragi family was controlling New Himuka for their own interests. My father and brother did some horrible things. That shouldn't be all. It should all be brought to light. I'll help you do that. Thanks. Even if it's the hard truth, I'll face it head on. In this history, it wasn't Karin that started a rebellion with Seiron, but another OSF soldier. He's a known veteran, and I recognize his face. But I don't think he's an equal to Karin. However, history is taking almost the same path. It's something that's beyond human comprehension. Oh yeah, I heard you've been having some trouble. The crows are all over you. It's my family. Now that Kaito is out of the government, the press has turned on him and are just saying whatever they want. Since I was part of the operation that got rid of the extinction belt, they've been hounding me. It's the same with you, right? That's true, but you have the advantage of being a Sumeragi. Public opinion in the press just latch on to what's easy to understand. Most people don't try to see what's really going on. Oh, are you actually worried about me? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I was just checking because it wouldn't be good if it got in the way of our missions. <laughs> I'm By the time I'm done all these cutscenes, it'll probably be seven o'clock. Seven hour stream. Eventually. Oh, but I might already be retired by then. While this is playing, I see. I'm alt tabbing out. <laughs> if you retire, you'll be a civilian. Weak. You can sit and watch me oh, climb. I don't. Ranks. I don't know if the scene. Yeah, I don't think. Don't know if the scene change, changes. Well, I just want to quickly oh, right. edit the uh, tab here. Able to fight the others anymore. I won't be able to go watch the Yuito. City like we did either. The now. Apparently, New Himuka's climate changed after the extinction belt disappeared. Hmm? We might get a chance to see lightning up close again. I wouldn't be opposed to taking you. No, oh, whoops. You can thank me later. <laughs> wow, conceded much? It would be nice to see them with you again. Alright, I'll get to watch. I think talking to Kasane is what's going to force the story forward, so I'll talk the to everyone we first. Know only exists in our heads, right? I think we should make a memorial before our memories fade. I'm gonna write down the history that we lived in a historical novel. It'll just be fiction to the rest of the world, though. I'll need your help, too. Of course, I'll do everything I can to support you when you need as well. Just like always. Even if you quit the OSF, that won't change. This is just between us, though, okay? Like water is not a part of the squad, and that's one thing that's upset me the entire game. Chamber stopped functioning when Babe went down. My old associates were taken into custody by the government. Well, they can't do anything without Babe anyway. I'm in a pretty bad spot too. Well, I guess it's obvious they're suspicious of me as well. There's also the thing with Chairman Sumeragi. I'm on release without indictment, hunting others for now, but... But I'll probably be arrested soon. I see. Don't look at me like that. I know you want to say I told you so. I want you to pay for what you did, but I don't feel smug about it. You're one of us. 
even if you did some bad things. Don't you find it hard to live with that personality? I managed to make it to 16 like this, so no. <laughs> That's true. So what are your plans now? I'll retire. I won't be able to stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. Besides, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. Then come visit me if I get thrown in prison. I'd like to know how things are going and how Sagumi is doing. Okay. My brother might get caught too, so I can visit you when I visit him. <laughs> hey, am I just an afterthought? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just like how casually he says that his brother... Of everything you did to help. His brother's going to get thrown in prison. About what will happen when you're caught, you should worry about what you'll do after. After that? I'm sure I'll be discharged from the OSF. I heard the Lunar Surface Survey Project will be going forward, so that'll probably help with... No, it's still a little too hard to go back home to the moon. I'll probably just stay here and clean up the Togetsu mess. I've been on Earth for a while, but I've done so much lying in my life. It might be good to finally live honestly for once. Then teach me about politics. Why me? Do I look like I'd be good at it? Weren't you the commander of the colonists? I looked it up after Kasane told me your real name. You're actually really good at politics. Oh man, it sucks to have so much information about you etched in history. <laughs> well, I'm tired living a life of lies. It might not be so bad being your tutor. Sugumi. Blue sky is beautiful. The sun feels warmer than before somehow. I'm sure the animals are happy the extinction belt is gone too. We have to put the hideout's potted plants outside sometimes. Kagura helps me with that. So, did you help with the hideout's plants? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I put them out, give them water and nutrients. Was that bad? No. I'm glad. Am I back? Oh, look at that, I'm back! I think it's my VPN, because generally I don't seem to connect, reconnect until my VPN uh, disconnects. So I think it's a VP, my VPN thing. Um, the cur I currently use, um, the VPN I currently use, I, so what ended up happening was I bought a year subscription, and then somehow something glitched along the way and I got a double year subscription, and then that doesn't end until this August. Um, but when it ends, I plan to straight up change. It's not one of the major players. So I plan to go to something like NordVPN or something. And hopefully not have to deal with this bullshit. If this keeps happening, I'm just going to say fuck the rest of the remaining six months. And I'm just straight up going to go to like NordVPN or what or whatever I, I want to use. Because like I am so done with this. So you didn't miss much this time. I caught it early. Literally, the line that Yuito is on, it follows up what was stuck on screen. Where Sagumi was thanking him for looking after her plants. And he says that he took uh, what she was talking, telling, teaching him seriously. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm just glad that they can bloom at the hideout. That's not it. I was glad to stay near Platoon. What? Oh, you mean when Major General Fubuki said he would reorganize us? Yes, I was a little worried then. Of course, I decided to stay in the platoon after some careful consideration. That decision was about parting with the OSF. I don't handle change very well. But you still came with us. Thanks. It was really reassuring when you decided to come. I need to thank you, too. You've given me so much courage. You became my friend and told me I She's could She's literally the Hinata of this game. Ah, you're making me blush. I've Even the clairvoyance you. power of the ability to see beyond sight forever. is literally the Byakugan. That won't happen, <laughs> right? Yeah, 
Soft spoken, likes plants. I'm pretty sure you know how to like plants in the in the anime. And besides, there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. It's important to do what you want. It's a little unfortunate, but we'll still be friends, won't we? Of course we're friends. And student teacher. You're like the sun to me, Yuita. What a confession. <laughs> because plants need sun to grow. <laughs> Even if you Man, Hanabi's gonna be fighting with Sagumi, that's for sure. <laughs> enough to keep me motivated to grow then you're like the soil to me the land the earth even if we're not in the same place let's do our best where we are <laughs> let's have a competition to see whose flower will be prettier i won't lose <laughs> thinking maybe I would apply for the Lunar Surface Survey Project. I want to see how people lived on the moon. Then maybe I'll sort of understand what Togetsu was trying to do. Telepathy probably won't reach here from the moon. I wonder if Wataru will cry because he misses me. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Even without my power or SAS, I'm still connected to my brother and everyone else. It's like an ability that's more than a power. Okay, I'll, I'll loop around. So I'll start with Luca and finish on Kasane. A world where Alice is alive. This is what Karin wanted. Though it is only in hindsight. What my brother did... I believe it was wrong. But I think I felt his thoughts for a moment at the end there. I don't agree with him. But for now, I am trying to accept this world. By the way, did you have your brain examined? Yeah. My power was acquired, so they said I have a very high chance of losing it. I see. Don't look so down. I said I don't care about it. I'll be all right. You really are strong. I must bolster myself so I don't fall into despair. You climb the mountain with me, so I can't look glum in front of you. You don't have to pretend to be happy. Karin was... I know. And I appreciate that. However, I want to push my limits here. What? The fact That's that not a... at all what... Confusing. The subtitle Whatever said. this world is now, I did have a brother. If this is the world my brother wished for, then I want to watch over it and be a part of it as well. I want to be strong for that. Stronger than him. Yeah. Even if Karin was the one who created this current timeline, it's up to us to create the future. Are you planning on retiring from the OSF? <laughs> Nothing gets past you. I've already put in my request. I'll be back to being a civilian after I take care of a few things. I can't stay in the OSF if I lose my powers. Even if you didn't lose your power, I think you would have still chosen retirement in order to protect this country differently from the OSF. You think so? You might be right. I realize that there are a lot of different ways to help people. Yes. We will both do what we can to create a better future. I want to use this given power to carry out my duties in the OSF. Even if it was given to me, I should use it to the fullest. I've come to terms with the many parts that make me who I am. You truly are a Septentrion. So reliable. I'll keep doing my best, too. We might be going about it differently, but I'm sure we're striving for the same future. And that's the thing too is to maintain your physical Arashi would your know Alice and to Karen and stuff because she's older than Fabuki. You come up with a training regimen. <laughs> so that part of you hasn't changed. You really are amazing. Okay. Don't make it too tough though. It seems that you and Kasane have something to do with the fact that we're the only people who realize that history has changed. 
When the world was altered, we were connected to Red Strings users through SAS. So we became observers as well. Well, it's all speculation. Regardless, that time travel power is incredibly strong. If history was going to change, it could have made someone else head of PR. <laughs> <laughs> you do seem pretty busy lately. You're booked for constant interviews, so you don't have time to slack off. If you understand, then take over for me. I really am going to quit being the PR person. I mean it. You say that now, but the fact that you're going to keep working in the OSF means that you're worried about Major General Fubuki. Oh boy. You really do have some obsession about siblings. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you I don't care about my brother that much? <laughs> obsession. Well, I'm a younger brother. So, maybe I want to dream. Are things not going well with former Chief Kaito? The thing about family and siblings is that you can't cut ties that easily, even if you hate them. And sometimes, those ties aren't cut when you thought they were. You know what I mean, right? So sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I see. Those are some grim prospects. Yours aren't as complicated as mine. So you should help out, Major General Fubuki. When the timeline changed so that Alice was alive and Karin never existed, I think it's been tough for both Luca and your brother. When the timeline changed so that Alice was alive and Karin never existed, I think it's been tough. Subtitles for both are Luca falling behind. And your brother. Ugh, good grief! Are you trying to say that since you're a younger brother, you understand people who have older siblings who make their lives difficult? Well, more or less. I'm sure you didn't need me to point out that you and Major General Fubuki have a special bond. You're such a dreamer. We don't have anything like that. Besides, Fubuki isn't a kid. He decides how he wants to handle this history. I may be his sister, but it's not my place. I see. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's none of my business. God, you never change. You're frustratingly good-natured. <laughs> you know, you should be worrying more about yourself. <laughs> really? But that is also your strength. It has to be exhausting, though. No, don't worry. I don't plan on quitting the OSF for now. Fubuki isn't even part of my consideration. There's a lot of benefits to a stable job once you learn all the tricks to slack off. Okay, got it. You're staying because of Major General Fubuki. That's a relief. Good on you. So you're going to pretend you didn't hear me. You might actually have what it takes to be a politician. Gosh, he's still my favorite. These cherry blossoms are as beautiful as ever. Even though history changed, Seto and Nagi. Oh, well, there you go. I assume Naomi is still dead too then. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping for a miracle. But I guess I need to face reality. Anyway. How have you been feeling? I'm fine right now. I can still use my power, but thanks for your concern. You're always worried about other people. I think that's amazing. You're still the same. You always look for the best in people. What? That was sudden. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you took me in after my mistakes and showed me the right way. I'm grateful. I'm grateful to you too. You were always saving my butt. Also, I think you and the others guided me a lot too. So, I guess that means we found a path we could take together. I see. Maybe Yuito Platoon felt so nice because you were the one in charge. <laughs> you could call it a family. I don't have any family left, but the warmth I felt in the Yuito Platoon was just like it. Family? <laughs> then I guess you'd be the oldest brother. <laughs> I'm basically the same age as Chairman Sumeragi. Oh, but your body is still young. Kitty is returned. <laughs> you decided to stop acting old. Uh, right. I still have a lot of life to enjoy. <laughs> Don't make it sound like a chore. You have to ease up. You're so serious. Oh, right. 
We should go to that gyoza place again. I registered an account on their app. You too? I actually registered on the app as well. Okay, let's go try out some of the new stuff on the menu next time. And then finally, Kasane. Major General Fubuki is late. Maybe we should contact him. By the way, don't you want to talk to everyone? No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Should have been an option. Oh, no, I already have. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here. Little by little. Alright, let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? <laughs> Yuito. How are your powers? There haven't been any big changes so far. I'll stay in the OSF a little while longer, then retire once everything calms down a bit. And after that? Well, I've got a lot on my mind in terms of what I want to do. It might sound conceited, but I want to change the world so duds like me have a place in it. I'd also like to face what my father and brother have done. I'm a member of the Sumeragi family, after all. And there's the other particles as well. Other particles? The extinction belt is gone. Yeah, but it's originally from space, right? It could appear again someday, since we didn't get it at the source. That's why I think we should study the other particles more closely, so we can eventually prevent, or even cure, metamorphosis. I had no idea you had so much on your mind. Does that mean you're going to get involved in politics? Sounds that way, huh? Although, I'm not really cut out to be a politician. Really? From what I've seen of you lately, I bet you'd be good at it. What, really? I don't know if it'll suit me, but I'm thinking about going to college. I want to study politics, and not because of who my dad was. I want to change New Himuka. You've made your decision too, haven't you? Yes. I've decided to go. There. To the moon. Good we'll game. be pretty far away from each other. <laughs> but at least I can 
always look up at night. Every one of us is born alone. Not everyone. But even though we're alone, we can connect with each other. Twins aren't. Where we are doesn't really matter. Kasane. I... I'll keep living, no matter what. To the unknown future achievement. Like I said, that was uh that was good. I enjoyed that. So I am going to I don't know if I wanna override this. Oh I can still play it, but I can't save over top of it if I choose to. Because if I do uh, I like I need clear data for New Game Plus or New Game EX, it's called. Maintaining your levels and items. Okay, so I do keep my level. Also, when game clear data is loaded, you will start from the hideout. There are more quest givers in each area. You can you can accept special quests. Yeah, that was fun. Maybe in the future I'll come back to this, but for now I'm going to move on to another game. Uh, and pray to God that my internet problems don't keep occurring like they have been. Um, yeah, so that was, that was fun. Um, I did enjoy that game, despite some of the issues. I got, when did I get raided? Crystal says that she raided me and I, I don't see a, no one, no one really showed up. Uh, I guess there was a, a spike of one person then. No, I still appreciate the raid nonetheless. Thank you, Crystal. And I really wish YouTube had a better system for rating, even even in like a manual way. It's just it's so hard to find some find people and I also don't really like I'm I'm self conscious about rating with small viewership. It's just like what what am I providing? Um yeah, so that is this game. That is Scarlet Nexus Yui Toes playthrough. Uh one day maybe I'll come back for Kasane. Um and maybe even Karin, because apparently there is a, a Karin, uh, a mi like a mini episode for Karin. Karin's is actually doable though, because he's one guy that has access to every power that the team has. So that would actually be kind of doable. I was honestly kind of expecting though that Karin's power was going to fit, because as a dud, it, I think it would have been interesting for his power to fail at the end, but I actually much prefer how it ended here, because it was far more unexpected. Because like, I guess Karin realized that he couldn't live without Alice, and after all his attempts, there was no way he could save Alice, so instead he tried to save, he basically gave his life for Alice instead. But to prevent a potential repeat of consequences, he removed himself entirely from existence. So that way, um, there'd be no repeats. Like, it, you know, like theoretically, like if you imagine that Karin 
Karin died instead of Alice at that moment, like turned into an other. Alice doesn't go insane or Fabuki or whatever, right? He just removed himself. But yeah, so that was over. So tomorrow, what is tomorrow's stream? Tomorrow's stream is more Final Fantasy random lock. Uh, be excited for that. We will be starting out with a double back-to-back -back Esper fight. We are going to be fighting the Poison Esper in the sewers. I say Poison Esper because I can never pronounce his name. Uh, and then we will be fighting the Ether Esper uh, Exodus right after. Both have battling effects. One H constant HP sap. The other has a zero item usage in battle. Um, so they will be interesting fights to be sure, and we'll get to random lock them right away so that they can go on characters that serve no purpose having them because I have not had one Esper go to a character that actually benefits from the Esper yet. But, you know, with that said, I'm going to call it here after this super long stream today. My name is Damon Kamiya. I'm the Omni King. And be you friend, foe, or member of the Omni Council, I'm going to see you later. Goodbye, everyone.